And we should be live now on YouTube as well. YouTube, if you're there, let me know. Let me know if the audio and the video is good. We've got TikTok over here as well. So looking for a, a big stream today. Let me kind of catch up with all of the chat on both. Ralph Earl was hanging out early. Nate's here. Gary Franchi. Cupcake, appreciate you joining. The Josh man has joined us over there on YouTube. Big Hoss. And MB, we did get some fire water there, MB. Single barrel, barrel proof is amazing. I actually wanted to find one today to add to this lineup, um, but I couldn't. They, they just didn't have any locally, so I'm going to have to take a little trip to find one. Get me fit. What's happening? Jordan. Jordan's in the house. I have not had three Rangers. Topeka, Kansas in the house. Dana, what's going on? <laughs> K Pasa, Cupcake Whisperer says. Puffin, Ryan. Chris, I'll say hello, Jill. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing just fine. I'm just trying to get you. I tend to just talk and talk and talk and talk, and then you just sit there looking at no, me. No, so. I like I, I talk every once in a while. Okay, you jump in I as jump needed. In you as just you just you just shut me down when you got something to say. Absolutely. Okay. All right. All hello, right. everybody. Zeb Young on the on the rocks on the talk. Okay, on the talk. I got you. G K Mason. We got the super chat. It flashes the lights now. Oh, that? my gosh. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank so we you, can, Mike Hammond. That's awesome. Woo. We can actually send that over to the stream as well. So you can actually see it here. Let me try to pull it up so we can see it. But should be able to see it there now. So... Mike with the $20 super chat. That's Thank awesome. you. I appreciate it. Alaska man back in the house. Someday we're going to get it to where we can show uh, the gifts and stuff on TikTok as well to the whole stream. So uh, go with that Knob Creek single barrel over there, content warning podcast. Do that. Hey, Chris. Are we? I think the TikTok quit scrolling. So I'm going to have to. Is it? Or maybe we're. Are, yeah. It may be too tall. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I feel like I'm. Yeah, I'm not yeah, seeing. I'm not cool. seeing the bottom of the chat. I thought the chat had died on me, but it's us. It's us. It's us. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me catch up on TikTok chat real quick. Then user from Kentucky, what's going on? I have tried the Jack Daniel Triple Mash, and we've actually got that. It's really, really good. Hookah in the house. Jack Rye, I need one of those. Get me fit. Taylor says there's plenty in plenty. What? What did I? That's the only chat I've seen from you. I don't know if there's a particular bottle you're talking about there, Taylor. Little Rock in the house. Cedar Ridge. I have not had Cedar Ridge, Iowa bourbon, but I'd love to. I did get an Owa bourbon, dude. So we are, we are stocked up. And now I got one backup Owa. Um, should I pour it in a lawnmower? No, I will, I will not. I will not. I will not. No. Raider, no. what's going on? Love me some Jack, too. So let me go over. I'll go over kind of what we're doing here in just a second. Uh, Bell Mead is actually really good if you can find a Bell Mead Reserve, but again, they're they're getting hard to find. So, um, but Bell Mead Reserve is fantastic. The Sonat, well, none of these technically are bourbon, I think. Just, but they're only bourbon because Jack Daniels doesn't want them to be so expensive to chase. Just sip on Jack Daniels and save the expensive stuff for special times. I, that was a lot of S's, and I kind of just like blurred them all into one word there. But absolutely. All right, so let me, and again, I, the TikTok chat moves really fast. YouTube is a little more manageable over here. Uh, but Evan Williams bourbon and Coke is good stuff. Uh, appreciate it, Raider, and ride on mower. How long would you say it takes you to mow your lawn? Not that long. It's not a real big, the problem is, is getting up leaves, not mowing. There's not a lot of grass. It's a lot of, like, um, natural areas and then just leaves end up all over the freaking um, driveway and everything. You don't mow the lawn. I mean, I have a few times, but it still doesn't take long. It doesn't take long for someone else to well, do when, it. Well, you right. know, I'm trying to create content. I'm <laughs> trying to create... He doesn't mow the lawn. I used to. I try <laughs> to create content and I decided it's like, do I go spend time working in the yard or just pay somebody to do that, free me up to, play, to, to hey, create I, content? Good, yeah. I get it. I'm just saying you don't mow the lawn. Why you got to call me out front of everybody? Well, like apparently that. you call me out about burning dinner, so I might as well call you out about not mowing the lawn. I did do that. I did. This yeah. is Dash, this is my boss. Yes, yes. Um, this high <laughs> this is a uh, Jack Daniel's Coy Hill which is 142 proof. <laughs> the mower don't run no more. You're right. It, That's why you well, don't I know. did fix it. I did fix it. <laughs> it. Took me about 3 hours to fix it, but <laughs> 
SoCal Mike got an Evan Williams bottle and bond. What do you think about it, Mike? What do you think about it? Let's see. Parrot heads in the house. Um, and again, I can't keep up with all the chat. We're going to try to do our best, though. Uh, what's the highest proof whiskey I've had? I've had like some really, really high proof moonshine. But as far as bourbon goes, this is probably going to be right up there, if not the highest. Douglas, what's going on? More didn't run. This is an actual live Charles Joe. 69, right there. Charles.Joe69. This is a live stream, yes. We don't fake things around here. We get accused of faking things sometimes because <laughs> we put out good quality and we try dumb things, but we do not. Some grade A fairness. You're, you're right, Inactive. You're right. Loved. I wish you were my neighbor. Life shenanigans. My neighbor keeps calling the cops on me for having dogs and cars and things. Charles says, what's my dream car? What's your dream car, Jill? Oh. She doesn't care. She's I like, don't have a dream car. Um, I really love my Toyota Highlander. She loves the Highlander. For me, I've gotten the ones that I really wanted. I mean, although... Like the Impala's still not here yet. It's so still a dream. 63 Impala was one dream. It's still a dream. Um, I bought the Lincoln I wanted. Uh, and then I guess the next car for me is that Grand National. Yeah. It's got to be the T-Top Grand I still I still want a blue with white stripes Viper. Viper. I just got to not be as fat to fit in it. So we got to we gotta take care of some issues. There's no sense buying it and just, just looking at it. I could drive so, it. So appreciate it, Team Money. All right, let's go through what we're doing here. Coy Hill, really good. I've had a small taste of Coy Hill, but it was just one little sample. So I'm this scared. is going to be like my first full pour. I'm real scared. You you probably should be scared for this <laughs> I'm one. very yeah, scared. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I, I have never drank anything with that high of a proof. Jill, most Ever. definitely, not even close. Probably, not close. Probably 114 or so, maybe the most she's trying. Life Shenanigans got a Four Roses limited edition, and someone said it's worth eight hundred. They do go for five hundred plus for I'm not sure. sure about so, this. Uh, is the ten year worth the price tag? And you do think? Do you think it'll be an annual release? I don't remember what the price tag, and I'm definitely I don't definitely don't know what the secondary. But this is an exceptional bottle of whiskey for sure. Coil's amazing. All right, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go through and try these. We're going to start with old, you know. Just your old friend here, right? Uh, the guy who got you into whiskey, or at least got us into whiskey. Uh, old number seven. And then we're just going to kind of talk about that a little bit and then work our way up to the Coy Hill. You don't, what's worse than 140 proof is having 140 proof as your first pour of the night. <laughs> like that's probably not Ooh. a. Uh, not not a recommended. Good thing. Saucy, the Coy Hill from last year. This is the one from last year. Is it? And the other one's from this year. I wished I had that one. This one's a single barrel, and the one from this year is a small batch, the 375 Little Bitty Bottles. Right, so this one's from 2021? Should be from last year, I believe. I could be wrong on the dates, but I think okay. so. How are they different? So, realistically, this one's a single barrel. The one from this year is a small batch, so they blended them to a flavor profile. Uh, so this one's going to be a little more unique, and you get really varied proofs. Like I've seen some, I think, high 130s maybe, and some that are way on up into the 140s. So just crazy, crazy swings. Can you do a video when you show your car? Yeah, Charles Joe, I actually had the car. The car is featured prominently in, uh, in on YouTube. We had a short on TikTok where we went to pick the Lincoln up. I don't have one on the 63, but hopefully soon. Uh, where we went to buy the Lincoln a month or so ago, but that t that TikTok didn't do particularly well, so I'm, just, I'm sure you, you probably didn't come across it. Old number seven is the worst. I don't know about the worst, but it's not going to hold up in this, this lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aw, yeah. it's not the worst. <laughs> ah, yeah, in the end, I know. I, I, I don't claim to have any credibility. I don't claim to have any credibility. So they, they give me a hard time in the stream where I picked the Blantons over the OWAT. Now, the Blantons was a really high Rick house or high Rick number. Now, Nate, Nate swears that means something. So, um, how did I get the bottle of Coy Hill? Having friends and trading them more than it's worth. <laughs> um, what inspired me to make a TikTok? I, we create a lot of content for work. It's really dry stuff nobody watches. And we had a lot of bourbon from that because we were talking about, you know, drinking, talking about e-commerce and drinking bourbon. And uh, so I had a small collection at that point and just decided to try to talk about bourbon. So see if we couldn't find more interesting bourbon folks. 
Uh, TikTok was just a lot easier because YouTube Shorts wasn't really a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, Douglas, that's just, I had a friend who had it. I've been trying to work a deal on it for a long, long time, you know, pretty much since it came out last year. And he didn't want to get rid of it. And I finally piqued his interest. So I had to get rid of two bottles I kind of want or wanted, but none that I don't care anything about them as much as I do that bottle right there. Here, you want to pour, pour yourself a little old number seven. ADHD whiskey's in the house. What's going on? Hey, lady. Hey, TJ and Lady, lady TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read it in his voice, though? That's the I question. I do. Like, I literally heard it in his voice. <laughs> Jill watches your stuff more than I do. I do. I'll See, my name is Jill, ADHD Whiskey. Well, he, he doesn't know. He's usually just in I here know. when it's me. Also, well, yeah, him. I'm a Tennessee Squire as well, but I, like, I haven't got any of their stuff for years. So I probably have moved like four times and haven't updated them. Yep. Um, I watch The Sinatra is a great bottle. He's yeah, my, it's a pretty good. One. He's my second favorite bourbon. After me? Yeah, of course okay, after okay. you. I, just, I wasn't sure. I wasn't yeah, sure. absolutely. I wasn't. It is a pretty car, as Chris says. Absolutely, after you. Yeah. Uh, the Koi Hill is 142.7 proof of pure fire goodness. I'm scared. Yeah, you ought to be. You ought to be scared. I'm that ought to be scared. a bit concerning. So what is your thought on old number seven here, Jill? On the nose, it smells really good. <laughs> You'll be a good. You should start your own bourbon nose, channel. On the nose, I get the. Oh, hand me that bottle of water over there. Caramel. Which bottle of the, water? The any of the bottles of water. Oh, this bottle of water. <laughs> my my palate's all over the place tonight. I guess from dinner. Hey, that was a good dinner. It was not burnt. It was a delicious dinner. Jill made a fantastic dinner. Um, a fantastic dinner. So, and she's been cooking lunches every day, so I can try to get small enough to fit in a Viper. What do I think about Pappy Van Winkle? I like Pappy Van Winkle a lot. Like, it's freaking fantastic whiskey. It's super hype. I mean, I wouldn't pay thousands of dollars for it, but it's fantastic. Garrison Brothers is good stuff. It's intense. You got to like it now. It's, it's different. It's, it's a flavor that has to grow on you. What's this? Well, we are trying different Jack Daniels and working our way up to this uh, awesome Koi Hill right here. Bo Hayes, I don't. When can you come drink, man? Are you in the Discord? Make sure y'all are in the Discord on YouTube. We drop it in the chat here every once in a while. And Gamtang will drop it in there if he's over there. And then on uh, on TikTok, it should be in the bio. Um, we're talking about doing a meetup sometime next year. Eighty proof, yeah. Why do they call it Sinatra? Fe well, Sinatra drank a lot of Jack Daniels, and this is just kind of in tribute to him, right? Haven't had Angel's Envy Rye or Colonel Taylor Foregrain. What's up, Wayne's World? Mm, Wayne's World. Shiver wants to join the party. Uh, yeah, we've got a review coming out on Devil's Cut here pretty soon. So, all right. Sweet background. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, Big Burn? Michael Sinead's in the chat. So, okay, now my palate's starting to normalize a little bit, and that's starting to taste like Jack Daniels. Now, this is what got me into whiskey. Pretty I much, don't like Jack. But you don't normally drink it neat in a Glen Cairn. No, I drink it mixed with some sort of soda. Some soda. A soda pop. Soda pop. pop. Yeah, we're in the South. You just It's Coke. Even if it's not Coke, it's Coke. Right, everything's it's, Coke. But I either mix it with Coke, Coke Zero, or my new fave, uh, Ben, I, I wouldn't say Dr. it's a joke. Dr. Pepper Zero. This is not sponsored by Dr. Pepper Zero, <laughs> but it should be. Uh, Ben, I'm just, uh, it's not a joke, man. I mean, Jack Daniels is fine. Is it great whiskey in a Glen Cairn? No, mm -mm. but it's pretty good. It's great in a Jack and Coke or mixed drink or right. something. So I'm just saying my palate was a little off. So it didn't even taste like Jack Daniels when I first tried to taste it. I mean, Whether you like it or you don't like it, what I said is accurate. If it doesn't taste like it, that it doesn't taste like it, even if it's bad, right? Logic? I don't know. Maybe I messed the logic up. I don't know. I mean, it smells okay. It tastes okay. Would I drink it like this? No. But it's really good mixed with Dr. Pepper Zero. <laughs> That's right, Douglas. Nobody bring up the steak. 
please. That's right. Nobody bring up the steak because I don't even think that actually happened. Okay? I don't think that one happened. Jill might have been in the Jack Daniels that night. She doesn't remember it happening. Uh, Midwinter Nice Dram's pretty good. Now, I don't like finished uh, high rye stuff, um, at least not finished in wine barrels. So it's not my favorite, but it's pretty good. We'll let Jill try it in a little while and see what she thinks about try it. Try what maybe. now? Midwinter Nights Dram. Well, you tried Dram. You tried Dram. Midwinter Nights Dram. You saw somebody do a review of it online, and we had oh, it, yeah, and then yeah, you, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. we bought the pour at the at the bar, the little jazz night. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It, ha- yeah. It was good. I like haven't it. had watershed, and Matt, thanks for joining. Uncle Dearest is fine. I don't just love it yet, but they're going to do some cool stuff. Haven't had the Jack Heritage 2018 or Kirkland. Uh, we just don't have a Costco. So, <laughs> what is it? Whiskey Gambler. How many of your bottles are sponsored? Uh, none. None. Sponsored by none. our bank account? Yeah, of none them. of the bottles are sponsored at this point. Now, sometimes they'll send us the bottle. Um, there's been just a handful, just a few. Now, we, we try to make sure we mention it. For sure. I, sometimes it might, like it might have got clipped out of a short. I don't think so. I think we've always mentioned it. Um, but on the long form, big time review, big review, we definitely mention it. And we'll try to put it in the chat. But it's really only been a handful that they've actually sent us. We're kind of new. Like we're brand freaking new. We've only been posting regularly since June or early July. And we've really only been posting on YouTube at all since June. So. Um, I need some sponsorships. That's what I need. I need to get some free whiskey so I, you know, freaking afford to fix up the Lincoln. I haven't had Willet Purple Top. I, that's way out of my budget. Uh, what is? Jack uh, uh, Willet Purple Tops. Ooh. Those go for like seven, eight hundred bucks when you see them at least, and up. Do, do I weed whack? Do I edge? I don't know. That's what you pay. Like I, I'm not. I have no problem mowing the grass. I don't want to. I don't want to edge it. I don't want to weed whack, weed eat it, edge it. I don't want to do any of that crap. Let's just be honest. We don't like yard work. Kelly Conway's in the chat over there. Hey, Kelly. That's our neighbor from down the street. That's my bestie. Hello, Kelly. New but the best. The Casey says. I like Jim Beam fine. I don't drink a lot of it though. Like it's not something I go uh, go after. Will it six year, one hundred and thirty four seven year? Yeah, but I'd never see them at those prices. Uh, at those prices, which one would I take? Ooh, uh, eight year at two thirty five. Probably yeah, definitely eight year bourbon at two thirty five. Yes, take sign me up. Um. What's going on, Whiskey Pirate? Life shenanigans. Just answer that one. I like Pappy, but you know, it's not worth the prices. Will it sell secondary prices from the distillery? Yeah, they're like, hey, let's go direct to consumer, and let's just get all the money. Let's collect all the freaking money. <laughs> Michael wants a Bruzel hat. Well, tell Michael he can find one at Bruzel.com. I got you, Michael. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make a sale, Jill. <laughs> I got you, Michael. We'll have to order one. I think I've given all the ones I had here away. STO in the chat, channel member over on TikTok. Finally tried the WLW. Had it for breakfast at the golf course. (laughs) That's a good way to try a nice whiskey. All right, let's move on to Sinatra Select here. Give this guy a try. Somebody Mm -hmm. asked about um, the Bonded Jack. Apparently it's behind me. Yes, the Jack Daniel Bonded is over there. Um... Apparently, Jack Daniels is really good in bondage because it um, tastes delicious. I like the triple mash better, I think, but the Jack Daniels bonded has really held its own in, in all of the tests we've put it in. Do you think Jack Daniels would be good at bondage? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not paying I'm, attention I'm, to something. I'm ignoring that question. I have not had a horse soldier. Um, How Coy Hill? It's right. I don't. I don't know the Ooh. question. How'd I get it? I'm just having good friends and giving them more than it's worth. Mm. What's the difference between whiskey and bourbon? Bourbon is a whiskey, so it's just getting more specific. Hey Nate, um, let's let's mute the political questions over on YouTube. Sinatra. Now Sinatra's good stuff. This gets a lot smoother, as you would call it. Like the flavors are just a little more, a um, little more pronounced. Here, I think I can get it. Let's see if I can get rid of it right here. Boom. 
Oh, he already got it. Gamtang got it. Thank you, Will. Blends is pretty easy to find. Blends has been really easy to find around here. I shot the video. I just put the video out not long ago. Um, the short is not as good as the long form video. I don't know if the shorts come out yet. It might have on TikTok. But the long form, it you if you showed up an hour and waited in line, you'd have got a Blends. I went to the drop this week to get uh, Weller Antique 107, got another Blanton's, and then swung by one of the gas station liquor stores and got another Blanton's. So they, they've just been around a lot, which they tend to do here in Alabama. Uh, no, I did not get any luck with the ABC allocation lottery. I literally sent that message to everybody, including Michael Conway and all my brother-in-law and Michael Baboyan and you and Will, and I, I sent it to a bunch of folks. Nobody won. We're all big losers. We're all big losers. This one, proof-wise, is 90. 90 proof. So 90 proof. Of course, old number this seven one, here is 80 proof. Yeah, this one smells less. Like the, I don't know. There's something about this one that puts me in the mind of the like like the peanut yeah, situation yeah. we're talking about. A lot of Jack Daniel stuff kind of has that yeah. peanut, that brown one's form and stuff. This not as bad though. It's not as bad. Like, I really yeah, the, don't even pick it up in this one. The flavors are just a little more well-blended in this. This uh, this one is going to be 97 proof, and I wish we had one more. <laughs> I was hoping to get a barrel strength to bump it up a little bit, but mm -hmm. we're going to jump right on over into that Koi Hill. It's going to escalate quickly at that point. I have not had Wild Turkey Diamond, no. Uh, I don't know about Canadian Hunter. I'm not a fan of that. You don't you don't like the you don't like the Sinatra? It's done well in blinds with you. Uh what's so one, um what is a, a hazmat's 140 proof plus, right? If so, that's a that's definitely a hazmat. Nothing wrong with old granddad Adam. Yeah. I have not had the Japanese blends. Those were the ones I saw were lower proof. And so I didn't, like, I had a chance to get one. It was, you know, it was a hefty price, but, like, with the lower proof, I'm like, nah. I think I'll, think I'll pass on it. Jack and Coke is a great taste in cocktails. Yeah, that's exactly right, Michael. Exactly. A lot of people hate on it because it's a mixer. And they're trying to, they're trying to make a mixer um, a good bourbon. And, it, you know, I know it's not a bourbon. We can get into that. Let's see. Is there a place to trade bottles? Facebook. There's Facebook, but we don't. Wait, they announced the winner of this. We haven't. We haven't got no, through them all it. yet. He meant the. Uh, oh, the uh, yeah, thing. the Alabama thing. Yes, you should have got an email today. He did. He got okay. sixty-one in Fairhope. Oh man, Brantley! Congratulations, dude. You're going to get an, a lot of really, really awesome bottles. Um, that's going to be that's going to be wonderful. You're going to be able to get all sorts of stuff you've never seen before. Finally got a Koi Hill, yes, um, but it's it cost me a little bit. I had to give away a couple of nice bottles. Yeah. Um, what would your choice be if you had one bourbon to sip on every day, William LaRue Weller? No, I didn't pay for it. Um, I just I just made a little deal with a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, I'm not okay with that. If I win Ohio Bottle Lottery, I can choose which bottle to buy. Nice, I hope you win. Oh, that's cool. Only thing they do different with Sinatra is score the inside of the barrels, much better flavor. Uh, Indian, I didn't know that. I wasn't mm -hmm. aware. That's interesting. What is it? Oh, mm. You're not liking the Sinatra tonight. Mm -mm. Hmm. I like this one better than the Sinatra tonight. Nate says 140 plus is as mad. Look at there. I finally got a question right. It's been a little while since I've got a question right. <clears throat> Bought yeah. Benchmark Bonded, and you're really enjoying it. Nice. I'm glad that I, uh, I recommended a good one. It's always good when you come back and I got it right. Um, yeah, Matthew, it escalated. It's <laughs> the proofs escalate quickly if that's what you're talking about. Um, to take the leap for TikTok and YouTube or just do it not knowing how it would pan out? I mean, I didn't. So I, I made a little bet. Um, when I started TikTok, there was a guy, a couple of guys. I went to the bourbon drop and we were waiting in line, just hanging out, talking. And a couple of them were on TikTok. And one of them was, you know, pretty, pretty big in the bourbon TikTok community. Really nice guy. I like the guy. I don't. I don't see him much anymore. He doesn't come to the drops anymore. But um, he had like three thousand followers or so. And uh, I told him, I said, "Okay, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start a TikTok, and I'm gonna try to have more followers than you the next bourbon drop. So in one month." 
Uh, and so we did it in one month, and I think I had about a thousand more followers than him in a month. And I was like, well, this is obviously working, so we <laughs> need to just keep going. And then, you know, I like long form videos, I want to create long form videos. And so TikTok just doesn't have a place for that. So we started repurposing content on YouTube and then creating content for YouTube. Uh, and now we're really putting a lot of effort into the YouTube lives and, and the uh, long form videos and really try to grow the channel. Like we, it's just take, you know, our subscriber count is much bigger than our infrastructure and capabilities here because we've, we've outpaced our, um, <laughs> we're, we've outpaced ourselves a little bit. Appreciate the likes, everybody. Um, love that Coy Hill hazmat, 140 points. I've had a taste of one of these, and to, but it was just a little taste. This is going to be my first full pour, and we're going to have a good hazmat? full pour. Well, hazmat means it's hazardous material. It's 140 plus proof. That's just what. That's just a. It's just a cute nickname people give it to you. Okay, cute nickname. <laughs> Does it make you make you scared? Mm, very, very, very scared. Of course, I was scared before that. So maybe I'm worse than scared now. Elevate from Puerto Rico. How's Matt? Howdy from Houston. I appreciate y'all joining. Picked up the Baker's. The Baker's 7. I, I like that bottle a lot. Triple Mash is, yeah, Triple Mash is a fantastic Jack Daniels. So, but it was high. Yeah, the Bellmead Reserve at like 50, 60 bucks I would buy. But they're starting to jack the price up to a hundred plus dollars now that it's rare. But once these are gone, they're gone. Enjoyed the Blanton's video, had a very brief background cameo. So you were in the Blanton's video? Awesome. Um, what's happening with Bellmead Reserve? So Bellmead Reserve was, um, I think it's MGP sourced, and forgive me if I get some specifics wrong, but I think it was MGP sourced and then bottled and put out at 108 proof. And I think it used to be higher proof, like barrel strength, and they reduced it quite some time ago to 108 proof. And then that, um, that distillery was purchased. And so they decided, I think they're gonna do a lot of contract distilling and stuff. Like they're just changing their business model a little bit. So they have kind of shelved the Bell Mead stuff in favor of Nelson Greenbrier. So there'll be a Nelson Greenbrier reserve, but it's gonna be their own distillate. So it will be different and it's Kentucky only. So that Bell Mead reserve that is out there apparently is the only Bell Mead reserve you're ever going to see. Um, so, you know, if you want one, you better grab it now because they won't be around. Once the ones that are out are gone, they're gone. Maggie's doing good, Michael Conway. Um, you should come down and take a far spin sometime, man, or at least ride with me. And I probably won't let you drive her. <laughs> You're a mailman. I don't know telling how many mailboxes we'll hit with that thing. I almost hit one yesterday. <laughs> you almost hit one? Well, I mean, it's a wide car, Jill. If you meet know, somebody in a bad spot, I you know. I can't drive Maggie. I'd like to, but I can't because she's just, she's way too big. Yeah. Gentleman Jack. I have tried Gentleman Jack. Widow Jane's good. I love the, the 10's good. The 13 is exceptional though. Australia in the house from Smells down under. So good. We're going to get to Australia sooner or later, Daniel. That's going to happen. I love that. I got to get some bourbon budget going first though. We got to, we got to quit losing money on videos. Ohio in the house. Pick I me up some Weller. This tasted as good as it smells. The Sinatra. Yeah. Let me it smell yours. Let me really let me put good. my sniffers on it. It does. It smells exceptional. It does. It but smells it, exceptional. It's not tasting exceptional to me. Okay, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Something you can afford, Oz. Awesome. Well, I mean, a lot of the stuff we do is not super expensive, uh, but some of it is. Like every once in a while, we'll break out something nice. Just not my faves, but that's okay. Wood, Sean Woodford. Woodford is oh, good. Oh, okay. This? Woodford is good stuff. Yeah, Woodford is, is I like Woodford. I like the double oaked better. Their limited release master distiller stuff is usually exceptional for sure. This one is 97. Takibo, so thank you. I appreciate you as well. 90? Douglas loves the channel. Thank 97? you. 97? Uh, so I, this may, I don't know if this is the highest proof, but it's going to be mighty close to the highest proof. We're going to call it a bourbon. I know technicalities. We'll argue that later if y'all really want to. But um, I've had some shine that's really, really high proof. But um, I, And I've tried a Koi Hill, but it was just a small taste of one. Haven't had Winter Jack. How many bottles? We're 
250 ish, I think. Didn't want to buy a Bellamy Reserve yet. I, that's just kind of how it is, unfortunately. But I've still seen it a few places at 60, 70 bucks, but it's like 99 most places I see it now. Haven't had Buchanan's. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking that this one doesn't smell as good as this one. Okay. Well, maybe but it Kellish good, says I need to stop drinking my Dr. Pepper Zero. <laughs> That's are you been say you been sipping on the Dr. Pepper? Yeah, you need some, to get the water. Some. That sweetness will kind of mess you up. Okay. God, that is so good. Oh my goodness. This is where like I like the Sinatra Select, but this is where Jack Daniels starts getting right. Top five under fifty dollars. Literally a video I'm thinking about right now. So that you can go just about anywhere and get the top five bourbons under fifty dollars. You got to have a Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I would put Wild Turkey 101 on there, but you might argue that one. Evan Williams, Bottle and Bond, you can roll in and get just about anywhere. I would probably put that Jack Daniels Triple Mash, although right now you can kind of argue whether or not you can get it anywhere because it is kind of limited just because it's been so freaking popular. And then, um, let's see. The fifth one, I haven't really thought through too much. Ow. Um... I haven't really thought through too much that okay. you could just get anywhere. Let me think about that. I'm looking at my I'm looking at my bottles here. Um, honestly, that benchmark bonded would be in there. Um, I don't know. I we'll figure it out before I do the video though. Hopefully the four helped. It's oaky good. Yeah, EC Toaster Barrel's good stuff. I, I have not tried Jack Peach. Single barrel select. Yeah, uh, big big J Rock. I that's hard to argue with. Messing up your taste buds. Is it better now that you're drinking water? Four rows of single barrel vegetables and ham. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> ben says 23 flavors. It's too, it's too uh, many. Let's, we're going to put 20, that 20, 22. That's okay. But you get to 23, it's not going to work. Does this, like, does Dr. Pepper Zero have 23 flavors, though? It's Dr. Pepper. Does it? I mean, they try. They but try. It's, it's a zero, so is it the same? Ah, uh, mad. No, same? we don't. Don't usually. No. Hmm. Yeah, again, bourbons for a beginner. Um, try a bunch of different things that are. Low proof, low cost. Get a Four Roses single barrel. Um, get a, that Evan Williams bottle and bond. Try an Old Forester 86 proof, a, uh, an Elijah Craig small batch, and then come back and tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about them. Real strawberry shine. I bet it was. I bet it was. Four Roses. Fifth one is Four Roses single barrel. Yeah, I'd have to check the price on that, though. Um, it's been a while since I bought one of those. Amador, haven't had it. <clears throat> Did Douglas say he just had a baby? What did I miss? Oh, got me a Halloween gender reveal this weekend for my first. So you were just going to, is it in a pumpkin? And you're just going to like, let me guess. It's a pumpkin. And you're going to shoot it with a shotgun. <laughs> and then whatever color it explodes into is the gender reveal. Is that what we're doing? Please tell You probably, like, I'm going to guess it's going to be more tame than that. Because I'm from the country. We could do things like that. I'm going to guess maybe a pinata. Like a pumpkin pinata, and you hit that. No, how would we do? A, how would you do a Halloween gender reveal? Like, how would that even work? What would be a Halloween themed gender reveal? What could we explode <laughs> into some sort of color that I don't know? Tell me how it's going to work. Tell me how it's going to work. I haven't had the twenty twenty one, but most of the bookers I've had are fantastic. Senior said, "Place in Lagrange." What did I mean? Oh, if you can get well or foolproof. It, if you 12. if I can get you Weller full yeah Weller full proof's worth one hundred sixty nine bucks I mean is it worth that as far as whiskey goes debatable but they're so expensive that's a good price on it for sure yes I uh, haven't had curveball it tastes like barbecue sauce that doesn't sound good though I haven't had old Kirk <laughs> yeah southeastern so what do you think about the new format this is the full you got the full YouTube stream on TikTok <laughs> what is it nothing okay. Somebody say something with it. Mm, nothing. It's a inside thought. In it's an head. inside thought. You don't want to share it with the no. Nope. Share it with the class. No. Nope. I'm gonna keep that one to myself. <laughs> Some things are better left in my head. Yeah, fish under fifty dollars. Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare are just not things you can get everywhere though. Mad likes watching us. Well, thank you. But he wants to know if we test our blood alcohol each evening. We do not. 
We do not. Not sure why we would. I don't know why we would. Just a science experiment? Yeah. I'm not sure. Woodford Double Oak. There's a lot of Double Oaks. There's just none that are regularly available. So if you really like Woodford Double Oak, it's, it's a little unique, which is why I like it. How do you drink that for someone that's not a whiskey drinker? You have to work your way up to it. Start with mixed drinks, start with Jack and Cokes, old fashions, and then build your build your tolerance and flavor palette for bourbon. I don't know what Remus Gatsby goes for, Road Glad. Um, haven't seen it. Uh, Dr. Pepper, I know, I know, Chris, I know. I love Dr. Pepper. Come on, people. Dr. Pepper's awesome. Buffalo Trace. I, I mean, who could, Buffalo Trace probably would be a good one, but like around here, it's been moderately available, but you just can't go to a, into a store. If you could go into a store and get it, absolutely that would be on the list. Probably Eagle Rare along with it, but you just can't get it, go into a store and get those all the time. Um, I don't think I would put Ezra Brooks in top five, but that's a, that's a fine pour. Uh, yeah, I tried the Detling Cash Strength, and we're just going to agree to disagree on it. We're going to agree to disagree because I did not enjoy it at all. I don't know if I, I think it might have been worse than the normal Detling. It was all the Detling flavors I didn't like, but it full strength and not watered down <laughs> for your enjoyment pleasure. So yes, under 50. Yeah, everything in Alabama is a little pricier, so I want to say it might be slightly over 50 here. Um, the only blue note I have is a is one somebody did a honey barrel in, so not not a fair evaluation of blue note. So I need one. Raul's from Kentucky. Raul, 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 R A U L. How do you? Is that Raul? Where are you at? I'm over here on TikTok, TikTok. about halfway up. Hey y'all, Kentucky here. And I said his name, and then I, I felt like I just just oh, butchered it. Okay. I just butchered his name. Kind of small video. Turn your phone sideways. There should be a button. I think there's a button in the corner. Flip that sucker sideways. <laughs> Let me know what you think then. And I, I'm trying to do it tall. I was going to do it tall for y'all, like crop it in. But with her here, really, I need the widescreen. So um, I bet that Jack Ryan was good. Heaven Hill 17. I wished I had one. That's my next. That may be the next to replace this Koi Hill on my list of unicorns. I haven't had Balvenie 12. Jill wants no part of the reveal convention. <laughs> okay. She don't want anything about exploding pumpkins. Not her thing. Was right by the frisky whiskey, but don't have time to stop. That's Sometimes I find some decent stuff there. I haven't found any like super nice unicorns, but uh, Michael, I have not had that. I don't even know what that is. Uh, 2022-03 Bookers. Nice. That's going to be a good one, Puffin. Smoke bomb and a witch's cauldron. If smoke is green, it's a boy. If purple, it's a girl. So you're going to have to like give instructions and stuff. This is not going to work on social media at all. Everybody's going to be like, it's purple. Like, what is it? They're having prints? Like, what is this? But I hope it goes well. I don't know which one you're cheering for, but I hope you get that one. <laughs> oh, I need an old Carter Kentucky. Well, I do have an old Carter, but I don't even know what a Kentucky one is, but I know I need it if it's made by old Carter. I'm not a fan of this one. You don't like that one. You haven't liked any of these. Agreed? Like, you just haven't really liked any of them in a glint. Like, you, you got nostalgia for this one, but you didn't like any of them. No. Not really. Like, none of them are like, I would drink that neat in a Glen Karen. Nope. Yeah, uh, Senior Booker's is good to me, but it's an acquired taste. Like, it's really intense flavors. Um, the ones I've got are, like, really peanut forward. Um, so you might like it, you might not. I would suggest you get a pour in a bar if you can, but, um, you know, that's, I like it a lot. Fresh water's in the house. I have had, I haven't had the new Midwinter Night Stram, no. No, no, no. Uh, please give a stag. Um, I, I like stag a lot. Peerless Double Oak, haven't had it. Elijah 18, nice. We're basically, we're at Opelika. You. Saw a bourbon, a Detling bourbon at Costco and thought of you and didn't buy it. Well, that's, I hate that I costed them sales, but I, it's not, here's how I look at it. This is what I have to tell myself every time I'm going to do a review and then it comes out not good. It's not on me to tell people it's good. It's on them to not make it suck. Right? It's not my fault if I give a bad review. If they sent me a bad whiskey, 
But is it a bad review? Because you... If I say it sucks, I'd say that's a bad oh, review. yeah. Okay, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 I just thought you meant, like, if you were telling someone else that you didn't like it. Oh, I just tell the world. Right. I just tell all, all the people. Yeah. But you have to be honest, right? That's... I can't like, lie. you can't lie. Now, I could not release the video, but then yeah. I honestly feel like that's lying. Yeah. Like, I'm covering up for them. Like, they asked me to bury a body. They thought, here's a... Hey, I got a body. Could you help me bury it? And then I feel like if I don't put out the video, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm helping them. I'm helping mm -hmm. them cover up. I don't know about all that, but... I mean, maybe not that serious, but... Yeah. Like, I got to put out the video. I know. But you could always put a disclaimer in the video. That says, I'm going to say something bad about this whiskey. If you don't well, want to hear something bad, don't watch it. <laughs> yeah. Or, hey, I don't, yeah, this, yeah. this bad video is not my fault. I, they, they, made a, they made a shitty product. Or just because I think it's bad doesn't mean you will. Try that's it always, anyway. That's always the case. Right? That's always and so the they case. can still get sales. Hey, we're going to have some bourbon with eggnog. Ah, uh, Park, Parker's Heritage Rye. I'm not. I'm not have lucky enough that? to have that. I'm not lucky enough to have those. Those are hard to come by. I've never even seen one. Oh really? Never even seen one. But you're not a big rye fan, so. Well, I'd take it. Like I'm not. Not seen any Parker's Heritage. Oh, they have bourbon too. Yes. Haven't had the Jameson IPA. So good review, bad rating. There you go. It's a good review. It's just bad rating. Okay. If I tell you a whiskey's bad, that's a good review. As long as the video's good. Yeah. And entertaining. And keeps you engaged. Good video. Good review. Bad bourbon. Find Buffalo Trace all the time in Wisconsin. I have not been. I think I, I think I have been to Lafette Beverage. Um, I just it's been a while and I don't remember their selection. I stop at some of those randomly, but um, up toward Lafette, there's like was it the beverage wholesale or beverage superstore? I don't know. There's one right off the interstate that's pretty good. I saw a comment you missed that I just wanted you to. Yeah, yeah. Like. which one? It was talking about that they love your shorts. They don't like, they don't drink, but they love your shorts. So, like, not don't you have one out that's non-alcoholic? We did do a non-alcoholic one. Yeah. Um, yeah, Chuck, I got I got OWA last weekend. And I'm sorry, the, the chat's moving pretty fast, and we got two of them. We're doing YouTube and TikTok at the same time. So I apologize. Like, we can't catch them all, and I try. So if I miss your question, I will I will get to it. Um, you know, their channel members over on TikTok stand out. So I usually make sure basement Rick house in the house. What's going on? Um, I may, I may be up in Louisville here in a month or so. I, I think I already told you that, but I'm still working out the details of that trip. They're up in Louisville. What? Oh, in Kentucky. Is that Kentucky? Yes. Okay. Yes. Guess what? Geography. What? I'm not good at geography, but no. it's okay. Yeah, look, I got a magazine today about Kentucky. Not seeing the chat feed from the other platforms. I apologize, Hollywood. And, and so, what does that mean? Well, he like we're commenting on stuff they can't see. Oh, right? yeah. They can't see what we're saying. I can see how that um, would be. Confusing. So I can see how that could be a little confusing, right? I'm just like chatting stuff, and I I need to Is there show any it. Way? Well, see on YouTube, if we wanted to do so, um, like we could show the chat, right? So I could say right here. Chaz says, you know, viewers want reviews uh, to be intellectually honest. Call your balls and strikes and we can make our own decisions. So I can do that on YouTube and I'm wanting the ability to do that on TikTok. Um, TikTok just doesn't give us those capabilities yet. They're still trying to figure this live stream thing out. Okay. Yeah. Give us a shout. I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. All right. So you want to try this Koi Hill? Woo. I don't know. I've been... Um Delaying. <laughs> You've been delaying? Let's delay. I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. Yeah. Ah, the Tennessee Barrel Proof Rye. Sounds like a delicious one. So, mm. higher proof, better taste? I, it does have a better taste to me, but I kind of liked most of these except for this one in a Glen. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, that one's better. The one I had, the little taste of, was a lot better than these. Okay. But the proof is going to open your sinuses. Mm. Uh, Navy, a 2007 store pick, single barrel Jack Daniels, probably would have a little bit of value, yes. But it's not going to be like thousands of dollars. I, I like the Jack 10 a lot. She didn't like, she hadn't liked anything. She, she hates everything. I don't hate any of it. I just wasn't like... Strictly on the fact that I would not sit here and drink it 
straight or neat or whatever. I wouldn't right. do that. Okay. I couldn't do that. Not in any of these so far. Big Chung says, do you like Jack Daniels or Jim Beam better? So is that better? Is it better if I at least read it? You know, maybe maybe that's better. Um, I'll do that. Um, do you like Jack Daniels or Jim Beam better? If you're talking about like just normal release, like Jack Daniels or Jim Beam, I prefer Jack Daniels. If you start moving up the chain, it gets really close because I really do like the Baker 7 and Booker's and things like that. Uh, maybe more so than some of these Jack Daniels things just because they're so interesting and unique. Haven't had Bibb and Tucker. Watch that next one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We don't have a lot of moderation going on right now, and unfortunately that doesn't give me the option of doing a whole lot with it. So, yeah. what's going on, Gulf Coast? Weird. Hey, Gulf Coast, I don't know if you're going to hang out here. I know you kind of come and go on some of these, but if I give you mod, could you uh, kind of keep an eye on things over there for me? See if I can do that. See if I can add you as a moderator. This is a whole fancy setup I've got here now, so I'm not even sure if I can do it. Honestly, what do you say? Uncle Nate, you're right, Uncle Nate. They were very heavy pours for someone who does not like it. Um, I just poured that much because he said you need to, and so that's what I did, but I feel real bad because it's just going to sit there. Unless he drinks it. It's okay. I'm not going to finish them because I didn't really like them. And what's the point in drinking them if I don't like them? I don't even know if I can add you as a mod, so. But you're right. There's a whole lot of bourbon whiskey, whatever it's called. I don't know the debate oh, on Here we these, go right there. Moderators. Gulf Coast already a mod. There's He's already a, a mod. There's a whole lot left. So sorry. Wish I could share it with you folks. Clearest video yet. Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, it's turn sideways. You got to turn your phone on the side. So y'all let me know on TikTok. Just turning your phone on your side. Does that suck? Does it suck? Do you hate doing that? Is it awful? Would you rather just me be tall like that? Let me know. Come on, Kalish. Come finish them for me. Catch up. What we got? Gonna you can need some sit air right time. over here, Kalish. There's a chair. You don't even have to be on the stream. You can just come over here and fit. I'll just slide them over to What's you. What's going on, Jeffrey? Like I don't know where Cheech is tonight, Douglas. He must be busy. Aww. I can get this. I'm going to pour a very light pour on this because I can imagine that. It's I'm going not, heavy on this one. Not something I can know. Um, I do not have a Costco, and I do think they sell liquor, but we the Costco is like 45 minutes away, so that's a long way for us. Darren says he can go to both if you need help. I mean, we just, most of our mods that were regular over here on TikTok have moved over. Johnny, what's going on, man? Let's hear that cork pop. Ooh. Not bad. A little wet, a little wet cork. Does that mean anything? No, it means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Cork pop really means nothing. It's just fun. It's fun. It's fun. I, I don't know if Matt's still hanging out. Sometimes he hangs out and watches, so he should say, America, as you pop the cork. Okay. Michael says they're on their way. We might have to end the stream early. <laughs> uh, just text me if you actually come. Don't ring the doorbell, because the dogs will go cray-cray. Alex says you've really turned things around here for the better. In other words, I think uh -huh. they like the thank strings you, better Alex. here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we just we've got a, re a review coming out of Barrel uh, Vantage tomorrow. I've got a couple of Barrel bottles other than Vantage. Ooh. I like one, don't like the other. So love one, don't don't really like the other. The cork pop, the wet okay. cork pop. Well, now we're getting somewhere. This smells delicious. I'm gonna be so disappointed. If this doesn't taste good. <laughs> That's a good whiskey. I'm going to be mm. really disappointed if this doesn't taste good. Brevard says uh, his girlfriend loves having your wife here as well. Aw. Harper says, Thank love the you. way things are going. Nice. Yeah, I got an Owa and a Blanton's this Gosh. past weekend. What is the far right bottle? So here, this bottle, this is Jack Daniel's special. 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 We didn't even hit the high proof stuff. I assure you, I just can't talk. Special. Special release. 2021 Coy Hill. Coy Hill. 
So Jeffrey I've loves the side I've heard so much nice. about Koi Hill come out of your mouth. Because I've been trying to find a bottle for like a year and a half now. It's awesome. She's yeah. got a High West gift set. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Jeremy, absolutely. Make sure you're in the Discord. If y'all are here hanging out, we've got a cool Discord where we just talk about whiskey. And that's where we're going to be, uh, you know, talking about our barrel picks we're doing. We're just trying to be as transparent with everything we're doing content-wise um, as much as possible. So over there um, is where a lot of the conversations and things go on um, behind the scenes. So make sure you're on the Discord. There's a link in the bio if you're on TikTok. And um, we drop it fairly regularly over on YouTube as well. Should be up in the chat here somewhere. I really I see don't Nate even want to drink this. You don't want to drink it? No, because if it's not good, I'm going to be so disappointed. Because it smells really good. Okay. Okay. That is a... Uh, oh, God. I'm scared. That's delicious. But it's intense. That is very intense. But it is an experience. That is an, it, does whiskey burn when you swallow? Have you got your technique yes, down tonight? Yes, whiskey burns. Well, this is going to do that. Sometimes it burns. Have I, your water I, ready. If I don't do it, drink it, Jill. <sighs> Kalish, stop pressuring me. Haven't had Rebecca Creek. I'm going to drink it. This is Jack Daniel Sinatra. I just Sinatra. don't want to ruin the smell because it smells so good. Hey, let me, I'm going to show them a little something right. Don't, don't drink it. Don't drink it. I'm going to show don't them something it. real quick. So this is TikTok. This is what, we haven't been using it a lot lately. We're going to start using it more. But this is the kind of stuff right here that um, having this set up with the sideways actually allows us to do. So y'all are asking about the bottles. So what we can do is go to that shot. And now y'all can see the bottles much more clearly, right? They're up close um, and we've got them all zoomed in. So you can see them here now. Um, let's we're gonna we're gonna try this real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Main zoom. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go edit this one mm. before you try it. Before you try it. Before you try it. We're gonna try something a little okay, different. Someone here. said it has a liquor. I don't like licorice. Um, a no. little. Actually, we might get a little of that. Not a licorice fan. But give me just one second. One second. Ooh. Before you try it, before you try it, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm doing something here. I'm doing something here. Oh my goodness, why are you putting it all on me? I think people need to be able to see your facial no. expressions here when you try this. Nobody wisdom. wants to see my face or my expressions. Go for it, Jill. Go um, for it. Thomas. Go for it, Jill. Thomas Jill. J. Try it. Oh my, okay, I do not like this. This is not cool. Okay. Don't look at yourself. What am I supposed to look at? The chat. Oh. <laughs> the whiskey. <sighs> okay. This is a lot of pressure on a girl. It's very, it's, it's, the drama is what we need to increase engagement. Orange peel and lemon. Now I like that. That sounds better than licorice. I'm not, I don't like any of the licorice. Okay. All right. Why are you smiling? I'm just reading the chat. It, they just like, if this is exciting. Oh my gosh. Close the eyes. Okay. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Hoo wee. <clears throat> okay, yep. <laughs> what do you think? It burns. <laughs> like burns, but it's really good. Yes. <laughs> and there's no technique to keep it from burning. <laughs> now, here, I want you to try this. I want you to try that. On your next taste. I got to taste another taste. I don't know if I can handle it. I want you to take the, the front, of your, front of your tongue, mm -hmm. and I want you to push it to the top of your mouth, Right before you swallow, keep it there as you swallow, and like, that's swallow? like as you swallow. You don't know what swallow is. I know what swallow is. Okay, then what are we missing? What was up? What was like, up? how am I going to keep my tongue up here when I you swallow? You can't. You can't push your tongue to the top and swallow at the same time. I don't typically do that. I know you don't typically, but I'm trying to tell you what I mm. do to push the high proof whiskey around the outside of my throat. 
So it I doesn't think it's burn going my into tonsils. My stomach out. right now burning. It probably is. It probably it is. It is burning on its way down to my stomach. This is Michael. This is oh a hundred and forty-two proof whiskey. One hundred forty-two point seven proof. If we're going to be precise. Woo! Will, Willie says you rocked it over there. Thank you. I'm still rocking it because it's still burning. That is so freaking good, though. Oh, it's really good. I'm not disappointed in, in the taste. It tastes really good. Wow, what's going on? Thanks for dropping by. But it just burns. Oh, Lord. Describe it, Jill, Salt Life says. I'm going to have to taste another. Know. Ta I, give me a minute. Right up there with GTS? It's still burning. Yeah, I... I, I would say it, it holds its own against GTS What is for sure. GTS? George T. Stagg. Oh. Which is another fairly high-proof whiskey. I don't think it's quite that high-proof. I think it's 120-something. Coy Hill on secondary? I haven't checked it in a while. Last time I checked, it was 500 bucks, but I think they keep going up. Um, Ooh. These are, like, these are custom-made shelves, but the guy used bracketry. They're like a bar with little rods sticking out, and then you drill the shelves. And they have a ton of support. So you know I don't know I the get? name of the on the on the nose. I may be weird. What do you get? Know. I get like some maple syrup. Okay. Like a maple syrup. All right. Well, I, I, I can see that. Like right, kind of at the at the end of the finish of the yes. nose, right? Kind of it yes. kind of you know dissipates into kind of a a maple a syrup. maple syrup. Yes. Look so at I that get, dog on Jill. I get I get some red fruit, which is a little unusual for a Jack Daniel's product. Kind of a red fruit sweetness. I still get a little bit of that kind of brown form and nuttiness, but not a lot. And you're right, kind of that, almost like a little bit of a graham cracker maple finish to it. There's definitely some maple syrup finish. For sure. Like just as it leaves your nose. Yeah. Now these were, I don't know what these were. I think these were like a hundred bucks or so MSRP, but you're just never going to find them for that. Blanton Straight from the Barrel. I wouldn't say Blanton Straight from the Barrel is better than this, but I would say Blanton Straight from the Barrel is fantastic for sure. I don't have any Hill Rock Solera now. Haven't tried it. Junkie said today the small bottle was the best bourbon of all time. Well, they said it was the best bottle of all time as far as value goes, Anthony. So I, for 50 bucks for that bottle, yeah, probably. Um, now, here's no, what I want you to do. That didn't work. I want you to pour it, a little bit it more. It didn't work. I want you to pour another pour. Well, you didn't do it right. I did it right. Okay. I kept my tongue up and I swallowed. Well, I'm and sorry. Maybe that there's more was to worse. it. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it to people, but I'm not good at it. So what I want you to do is make another pour and add some water. Whew. A couple of drops of water. See okay. what you think of that. You want to try that? I do. Okay. Where's the water dropper? It should be over there by the buffalo, the big Tatanka. Have you and Whistle Pig? I haven't had Whistle Pig maple syrup. No. It is delicious. Why don't I just use this one? Why don't you just use that one? Instead of just Then more. just add one drop. Right. Just okay. one drop. Of this stuff? Yeah, that's fine. Might as well use that Kentucky limestone water Ooh. that somebody randomly sent me. My goodness. Which one of these is my favorite? Oh, this one by far. Not even not even close. Not even close. Absolutely, but it is. Got a bottle of Blanche for 66 bucks. Nice. A 70 MSRP <laughs> on the Koi Hill, but good luck finding it. That is not for the weak at heart. Made Stag Jr. taste like water? Mm-mm. Michael doesn't work tomorrow. I would say if it's Friday, you just come hang out with me. But, I mean, you can come hang out with me. I'm filming videos tomorrow afternoon. You're welcome to come by. We'll go one. for a ride in the Lincoln. Yeah, just one drop. I think that for that little of whiskey. 142 is an extremely high proof. The big Tatanka, yes. Uh, Y'all, half the folks in TikTok's probably too young to get that reference. <laughs> A uh, shot of that 142.7. Well, come over. You try it, Michael. Made it burn worse. Then I, I think I'm doing something a little different. Like, that's part of it, but it, was it doesn't go down the center of my throat. It, I don't get burned, so. There ain't no way you don't get burned. I get a little burn. I don't get as much burn as most people. Yeah, and I'm, okay. trying to, I'm trying to quantify the, the, the technique there that I've developed, and I don't know Ooh. how I do it. I get more maple syrup now. See, all I can taste is like the lotion on your hands. I don't have lotion. You got on my something hands. on your hands. What you, you? I have nothing on my hands. You got something. 
You may not be able to smell it. I don't know if it's soap you used to wipe oh, your hands or something. Oh, wait a minute. I do have... Yeah. But that is literally all I can smell. Okay, sorry. That's... Yeah, I don't... It wasn't lotion. It definitely seems to open up. Here, give me give me the dropper. You got a little it water in there? It smells way more like maple syrup now. Like, I just get that immediately now. Remus Gatsby for two fifty. I haven't had it. Um, two fifty. I'd have a hard time splurging for that as well. I really would. So, um, finally found some eagle red. Nice. Um, ever marinate steak? I mean, with with Huron. I I don't know what Huron is. So, Dances with Wolves. There you go. Bourbon in my white tea. Great okay. movie from back in the day. Okay. Steak with bourbon. Uh, I I haven't marinated it in bourbon, but I'm willing to try it. I've got some mediocre bourbon I could I could sacrifice to that. Let's, that makes it much better. That makes it much better. Do you add more water? I did. Just to get it one more notch down. You want to marinate some steak? I, that sounds like a pretty good video. I need to do marinating steaks and okay. bourbon. We're getting somewhere now. This tastes okay. good and it's manageable. To, now, I don't think I could do a whole pour of it, but that's See, really good. So, I put a couple of drops in mine. And you don't like it as much. Well, it's easy. It's easier. It doesn't burn. Like, yeah. you get more flavor, but it doesn't have the depth that that one has, right? It's just not the intensity right. that, I will agree that, with that that one has. And that's intense. what makes that, like, so freaking special. Yeah. It has good flavors, right. but what makes it exceptional is just an intensity you can't get in any other whiskey. Oh, Chris McGill with the dirty words in the chat. I'm a, I should ban that in the chat. What I want, what I want is some sort of filter that every time somebody puts Roll Tide in the chat, it just auto-changes it to War Eagle. And so when you submit it, it just auto-changes it Ooh, when they submit I don't think you can you do it, do? but that's what I want. I don't know if you can do it, but every time someone says that bad word, have this do orange and blue. That could probably be pulled off. It'd take a little work. That'd probably be pulled off. Yep. Uh, but I'm going to, Cooper, I'm probably going to put that in. I put a steak in uh, in bourbon. Is it good? Have you tried it? Red Line. Red Line really enjoyed the Koi Hill. I ate Red Line. I had somebody asking about your whiskeys today, and I, I suggested they pick up that honey cask. So hopefully they did so. Um, can you zoom in on the bottles? Yeah, sure. There you go. Go dogs. Adding water doesn't have the depth. Yeah, exactly. You with the War Eagle. Irish fan. Another. So what bourbon? Right now we're drinking this one. We're drinking this 142 proof Jack Daniels Koi Hill. So we can go here. We can go even further back. Woo. We could zoom back a little bit. But then you just see laptops and stuff you shouldn't see. Mm. Just got another subscriber. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. I mean, I've known you like... Half my freaking life. Um, and you live like eight houses down from me. I appreciate you finally coming around to, you know, me earning enough of your trust for you to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. I don't know why I had to put so much effort into earning that subscription. But, you know, I'm glad you're here. Blends is delicious. Joe Weddle, thank you for joining. And uh, I like Blends. Drink like a champion today. Tennessee, hey, that was a good game, though. I enjoyed that Tennessee-Alabama game for sure. I think the I'm trying to contemplate here. I'm wondering if the one drink of the full experience yep. was more beneficial or more memorable than watering it down so I can have more sips of not as memorable. Or is good. Yeah, you turned it into, you basically turned it into a Jack Daniels barrel strength. Single barrel. That's why I wish we had it. Now, I think it's a little better, even with a, mine just had a couple of drops of water, but it was a little more whiskey. It's still better than most of the Jack, uh, probably all of the Jack Daniels barrel strength single barrels I've had, even those are, even though those are really good, but it made it much more close to those, and you can get those for a hundred bucks just about anywhere. What is it? have an idea but I think everybody would kill me. Jill, dumb ideas is what this channel's built on. Well, you see I only have a tiny bit left, right? Like there's just a tiny bit left in there. What if I added some What? Dr. Pepper you wrote I mean, if you want to ruin a good whiskey, go for it. I'm not I'm not hating Ryan in the house, man. What's going on? I don't Appreciate know. What do y'all think? Should I put some Dr. Pepper Zero in this or not? 
Friends with your editor, not familiar with bourbon, but cool stuff. Well, awesome. Welcome to the stream, and we've got a fantastic editor. He does a great job for us. Uh, wouldn't be near as far as we are without his help. Don't do it, Jill. Chicken bison recipe? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried that. Brizzle, Castle and Key weeded. Haven't tried. I haven't tried. The, I've tried to get the weeded last week, but they had sold out before I got no, there. No, Dr. Pepper. Straight from the barrel is the best Blanton's by long shot. Absolutely. Thank you, Goddard. <laughs> Georgia Bulldogs. Hey, I. You know, I, we're not. We're not haters. We are a little disappointed in Auburn, but Rabbit Hole's pretty good. It's. Like that price is a little little steep for you know the level I've I've got on the bottles I've tried, but it's worth a try. You may love it. Definitely nothing off putting about it. Uh, Jack Daniel's Bonded is pretty good. Forty two bucks, not a not a bad price. I I would say if you like that Jack flavor profile, the Bonded's going to be a lot better. Use an ice cube. Hey, hey, I had an idea. Okay, I got an idea. Okay, I can't use them all. Okay. Because I'm going to use them for a video tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But grab a rocks glass. I have a frozen whiskey, like a big stainless steel whiskey ball. You want to try Coy Hill chilled? Sure. Okay, grab a rocks glass. Let me get this What's whiskey What's a rocks stone. glass? A big glass that'll fit an ice cube in it. You know, like the glasses like, I make your old fashions in. Like, see all those back there behind you? Those. Grab one of the good looking ones back there. Let me go get this ice ball. Okie dokie. Got to get out of this chair first. Oh my goodness. That would, that's entertaining, I'm sure. Can Jill get out of the chair and then back into the chair? All right, so we're not gonna put it, we're not gonna put ice on it, but we're gonna see what it's like cold. I got my 1970 oh. style ice bucket right here. All right, let's just get these guys out of the way. These are not worth considering anymore. They're just in the dang way. And now, go to heel, right in the middle, right there. All right, so. Stop abusing the coy heel. Stop <laughs> abusing the coy heel. Oh, good night. This will not pick these up. They came with their own tongs. I'm gonna have to get those, I guess. Oh my gosh, those are like metal. Where'd you get those from? Amazon. We're shooting. I'm shooting a video with them tomorrow, so I gotta Design. put the rest of them back in there. I bought these XL oh. whiskey balls, and I bought some like whiskey stones, so like the marbles. So this one's round, so you can actually pick them up. Um, so we're gonna test those in a video tomorrow, so you can. Well, you got big. Mm. Wow. Okie dokie. So, but you're not a fan of putting whiskey on ice. This is the closest up camera I got. Sorry. You're not a fan of that. So I'm not a fan of. Well, this is not ice. Oh. This is a oh. whiskey stone. Oh, it just. It doesn't makes melt it at all. Cold. It makes it cold. So the question is, is it the cold it I don't like? Or is it the ice I don't like? I don't know. We shall find out. We're not going to pour a Why lot of this. Is that camera on me? Oh, because you, you zoomed in. Yeah, it's, but no, that's not the right one's what they see right now. Right, gotcha. So we're just going to put a little bit of that coy heel in there. We're going to shake it up. Shake it, shake it. That's actually really good. Is it? Well, it tames it down a little bit. Really? Okay. All right, a little bit. Tames it down a little. Yeah, what's a rocks glass? Exactly. We don't use fancy lingo around here, though. It's like, get me a glass. We just make them in a mason jar. Uh, the Red Line Honey Cask Finish was, was a really good bottle from them, Jeb. We don't shame bourbon tasting techniques except for the tongue thing. Uh, tongue thing. Yeah, I, that's fine. Okay. I, I can yep. do it. I just can't I can't describe to y'all what I do. So Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner. Jess, good to see you too. Rebecca Page in the house. Goes well with Dr. Pepper's benchmark eight. I may have to try that. Ah. 
Kay says he'll bring the uh, Kay Johnson. I'll bring you the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof of the military pick from Coy Hill for you to put up against the Coy Hill. The military pick from Coy Hill. What is this? What is this? And if you have this, bring this, this to me. Yes. What is this? Yes. What is bring this, this you to speak me? Of? I don't know what it is. Hi, Uncle Nate. Have you tried this though? I know you say it's painful, but like, have you tried it? Have you tried it? It does tame it down, but not in a way like water. No. It, like there's still a lot of intensity the, yeah. there, but it really, you know, you you can p kind of pick up some different flavors. It has a little more of a menthol taste to it with the sweet, you know, with the kind of the sweetness and the uh, the cold. But Bobby says we're cute. Thank Aww, you. thank you. Appreciate it, Springston. That I I really like that. What do you got going on tonight? What? Oh, so we had a bunch of jacks out, but we're re it's really about this one. This is the one we're celebrating tonight. The coin mm. deal. Round fifty bucks, wild turkey rare breed. Hundred to hundred fifty dollar bottle. Ah, those are tough. I would probably say the Calumet 16, but those are now over 150, so I don't really know. It's a big ball bearing, yes. This is a big, I have big ball bearings. That is really good. Uh, so this is Jack Daniels limited release from 2021 um, called Koi Hill. That's what we're drinking. I like Jefferson's Ocean, but it depends on the voyage. So two bottles of basil red wine cask. Nice, I haven't tried that. Did you know they're coming out with a new one, apparently? A, a new what? Jefferson Ocean. Well, I mean, they release a new one every six months or so, I think. Aged at sea, right. We're in Alabama. Coy Hill 146. This is the 142. We don't have the 146. The right, yeah, I think that's out. Okay. I think I saw that. Darker, richer, caramelized, which sounds good. Sounds good. The Jefferson's Ocean weeded I have behind me is actually really good. Steve's a new sub. Awesome. Thank you, Steve, for subbing. And I didn't have to know you half my life. <laughs> and live eight doors down from you to get that sub. And that's what I'm talking about, right? Like, Steve's like, I don't, I'd like, Steve's like, I've, I've seen enough. We're going to jump on board. <laughs> Should have used your everyday pour of Blanton's. But I, I really wanted to see what the high proof would do with this. Um, and it plays pretty well with yeah, it. Yeah, I like that. Like, I might, that might actually, that might actually end up with a positive review. I wasn't expecting it to. The whiskey stones almost guaranteed are not going to end up with a positive review, um, but that might might end up getting. We'll see. I'm going to have to put like a whole mixed drink on it to see how it does, or a Jack and Coke. But um, yeah, this is Dev David. This is definitely the winner right here for sure. Crystal Declan, I can't even read. <laughs> I don't even know where you're at. I'm trying to say Crystal Decanter and glasses. I like from Chris over there, but. I, I just can't. I can't read at this point. And it's not the Coy Hill, I assure you. Like over there, see? Kale Seal says Corey Hill. It's not me. I didn't say Coy. <laughs> I didn't say Corey Hill. I was going to read it like that. Tell us about the Pappy. Pappy's fantastic. Got one up on the top shelf. I need a Pappy can. That's what I need. I'm going to have to get a camera that just, because we had asked about it. So the Jefferson's Ocean can. I need a cam for like every bottle so I can oh just like gosh. press them. When we set up in there, I'm going to buy like 800 GoPros and we're just going to wire them all. I can't do that. Um, but realistically, maybe a wide shot that just focuses on the bottles and then a zoom. I can set up a zoom for each bottle. So I can do one camera and then zoom in on each bottle so I can just press the bottle. Uh, that would still take an immense amount of effort and I'm not going to do it. Battle Hill for 100 and 20 and it tasted bad that sucks whiskey bourbon is a whiskey so that's that's the difference it's just more specific I haven't had the 2022 limited i have the 2020 it's pretty good roll appreciate it thanks for hanging out jack honey and crown vanilla crown vanilla has actually been pretty good so um old elk that old elk's pretty good we got it out in the last stream it was it was all right what magazine what magazine oh. are you looking at where did you get that I got it in the mail. Hey, let me, hold on, hold it's, on, hold on. Hold it's on. the official guide. Show it to them, okay. Jill. You're zoomed in I was going to tell them what it was. Yeah, yeah, It's the official guide to Kentucky bourbon country with some girl on the front. But it's, it, well, let's it, talk about it's the girl for our on trip. The what do we got? It's for our trip to Kentucky. Okay. That we're going to take. When? I don't know. When. As soon as the YouTube channel takes off and we can figure out how to actually make money from it. Well, well we I did. don't really know well, if that's necessary. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, you know. Uh. Maybe. Okay, guys, maybe. Just tell Mr. Bruzel here that we need to take this trip, and then it, then he can film videos <laughs> that will, in turn, pay for it someday, one day, one year. But that's okay because we'll still have went. We will have gone. We will, will have gone. All, we're going to take we, the Lincoln, though. That's fine. Okay. Absolutely. Why would we not take Maggie? Do you know how many stops there are? About a billion. Oh, my God. I think we need to be there like two weeks. Oh, but look. they. This is where we're staying. Okay. I don't even know what this town is. Well, look for it. Hey, y'all pump the likes for me. I see a lot of folks on TikTok there pumping the likes and sharing the live. I appreciate that. Helps us get some folks in here. Apparently, this higher quality, like the way we're doing, actually doesn't promote it as well on TikTok. There's a little bug. So, um, it's been a little slower, which has been good. Less trolls, which has been good. So, um, we've got a lot of the regulars in here. Yeah, Basement Rickhouse says they're right down the road from there. So, awesome. We're going to hit up Basement Rickhouse, uh, for sure. I'm, I'm coming to y'all's place. It looks like they turned, like, you know, the old motel situation into yeah. this really cool place. It's in Bardstown. Is that where we're staying? Has anybody ever been, I want to stay here, been to the Bardstown Motor Lodge? Show it to him, Gio. Show it to him. Here, let me. Bardstown zoom in. Motor Lodge. It looks really cool. I think it, it looks like it might have been like an old motel that they have redone. Which is our jam. We're trying Which to. We really like to buy the local motel and we do that, would. but we don't have any money because I money. spend it all on liquor. <laughs> uh, thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. We're constantly trying to take a, a few steps up. If this format works, that really helps us to be able to turn it sideways. Uh, so we're trying to like. It probably won't happen this week, but I'm trying to push next week to maybe do some games and some different things, have some more graphics and a little more production. But we had to get this kind of situated with with TikTok. Ben's a longtime fan. I always love the videos. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate you joining the live. Stay at Talbot Tavern, Brian says, mm. in, in Bardstown. Joe loves Buffalo Trace Eagle Rare and Blends. Nice. Merriman enjoys the content. Thank you. All right, what do we got over here? Late getting here, Coy Hill. Yes. Uh, so, Horses of Bourbon. We had um, Old Number 7. We had Sinatra Select. We had Jack 10, and then we worked our way up to this one. If it's not the liquor, he should be able to say purple bur burglar alarm. See, I, I butched it. I butched it. <laughs> I boogered it up. That's a hard one for me anyway. Purple burglar alarm. Burglar. Purper, burglar is just a hard word to say burglar. anyway. Purple Thank burger, you. Bur 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 Purple you can't like burglar just, alarm. I love how people just pick like the hardest thing in the world to say what? to prove that you are... Drinking too much. Here's here's what's funny though is I I have Come a on. I have a particular cadence to how I speak. So when I say certain things, like when we're filming, if I say the same thing twice, it's almost identical most of the time because I just kind of have a cadence. And there are just some words or some combination of words that don't work on that cadence. So the word Kentucky messes me up all the time because it won't work on my cadence. So when you've got like, especially when you say wild turkey, Kentucky spirit, I have to pause. I can't say it on my normal cadence. So when I'm not paying attention, I'm going to say wild Kentucky, Tucky spirit. Like I'm just going to do it. Like it just, it doesn't work on my cadence. And so sometimes words just like that get off my cadence and I can't, I, I don't know why. Like it's not a learned thing. I don't know where I got this cadence that I talk um, from, but it like words just sometimes mess me up there. The Bardstown okay. Fairfield Inn is fine. Nice. Brian says it's amazing. Is that the, you talking about the motor lodge, Brian? Uh, Gadsden. Uh, Gadsden's a little ways away from us. We're down in the Auburn area. Brad lives in Bardstown. How did I like this? This is freaking fantastic. That's I need, really I need awesome. four more bottles. That's how much I liked it. <laughs> Murder Mystery Diner Train. Like, this sounds like a fun time. I wow. feel like well, Murder Mystery Diner, Diner train, train in Bardstown. Ooh. We like murder mysteries. On a train? Oh. Is the train moving or is the train sitting still? Like I, I, I hope it's moving. It's a diner train. Like, it could be a diner. sitting still. Ooh. So it's like dinner and a murder mystery yeah, on a train. Yeah, could be cool. Like, I'm assuming it's like an act. 
Yeah. If they act it out. Yeah. Like it's Clue. Ooh. Yeah, Jeremy, there's a video on Wolf Moon on the channel. You should be able to find it. It's not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. The old camp in the corner is just glowing like the Holy Grail. It is not the Holy Grail. I assure you that. Um, I don't know. It's just got a, it's, it's, it glows like that because it's a very thin whiskey and it's like water. Rick House Restaurant. Nice. There's a lot of stuff in this. With a good thing. speech impediment. Look at all Coy, that. Yeah, I need the 2022 Edmondson, uh, Colette. Um, I need the 2022. As good as this is, I need it. Okay. I don't know, Jess. I don't know what. I, it was $70 MSRP. Now they're $500 plus. ADHD lives in Bardstown. I think he lives in Colorado, Rebecca. Yeah. Um, though the best sipping whiskey that is most popular? Uh, it's a tough question. Like I don't know what you mean by best that's most popular. So a popular sipping whiskey. Um, what's a sipping whiskey? We got to define that, right? What's a sipping, sipping. whiskey? Sipping. So low proof. Oh, well, I took a two ounce pour of something last week, and I literally sipped on it for hours. What was it? I don't remember. <laughs> But you really add to the conversation here, Jill. I appreciate it. I, you really, woo. But it, I get what they're saying. You can, yeah. There, that's the thing. Sure, I there are sipping whiskeys, but I'm trying to define oh. that to answer the question. <laughs> and you're like, let me add this that doesn't help at all. I sipped on a whiskey I last did. week. I sipped on one. What was it? Like the entire day, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like it's literally, the only thing I drank the entire day. Well, that narrowed it down. Um, but I don't remember what it was. I did so not get I selected for Alabama saw... ABC. I saw a video on it. Somebody, oh, that couple that I like, they did a video. Okay. On this particular bourbon. All right. And I came down here and I found it. Because we do that. We tend to yeah. have them. But I don't remember what it was. Okay. It wasn't the Sagamore Rye. You were sipping on that one night. That might have been it. Okay. It's right behind us. That might have been it. Oh, this one. It's the diner train that takes about three hours if you do the full experience. Nice. I, I think it was. Um, yeah, I've had some high proof whiskeys that I don't like, but it, it yeah, it's Sagamore Rye. Right. Yeah. Right there. That yeah. one. Try Let's to sip on that it. one. I'm, I'm just saying try it. I could have been wrong. It could have been a different one, but I think it was that one. I don't know if I'd say that's the most popular, but that's a oh, really, no, really good Oh, no, probably not rye. the most popular. That's a very bourbon-esque rye right there. So good call, Jill. I'm glad I figured, I solved that mystery. That was the murder mystery right there. That you we had solved it. I just told you, Sagamore Rye. But, like, you didn't solve it. That was the mystery. It. Like, you not knowing what it was was a mystery I solved. Also, another mystery. Okay, what do we got? Because we, we, haven't, we haven't proven this yet. I don't know why. What have we not proven? If a barrel will fit in Maggie. Well, I'm waiting till I have a full 53-gallon barrel to try to put in her. Okay, well, I just found that a barrel fits on this car. See, the problem is I see stuff like that, and now I feel like my idea is derivative, and I don't want to be derivative. <laughs> no, it was an original was, idea. This was on top of a car, not in the trunk. It's an original idea, and now it's derivative. This is on top of a trunk. Okay, and it's that really looks like not an MG in it. of some sort. It's like an MG or something. So um, I was, it just reminded me that... I know. think it's going to fit. I think it's going to fit. I think so, too. I think so. Um, all right, Jill. It was a rye, Christian. It was a rye. Thank you, Christian. I appreciate it. The anticipation. <laughs> Haven't tried Hartfield yet. Sipping Mictors. Nice. Lot 40 experimental cast beaded quarter cast. Never heard of such things. Um, how did it come? Yeah, I don't think I got all of those tasting notes, Douglas, but I never do. Like, those tasting notes are crazy. Do Alabamians have a different southern dialect from Tennesseans? Yep. Probably a little bit. We're going to get a little thicker with some things. Now, you get over to like East Tennessee where you get into like hill country over close to, you know, like West Virginia. They get they get really strong dialects sometimes. So it depends. Now, as further south you get, especially southwest Alabama, you start getting a little Cajun uh, influence and it, it gets out of hand at this point. So let's play a little game, Joe. You want to play a little game? Yep. We're going to play a game. All right. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to leave. Just going to get up and I'm just going to leave. I'm just done. And then I'm going to take it over for the rest Jill's of the night. Jill's going to own the stream. So it's going to be better. Y'all are going to get a lot more views. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to walk in there and lock or close the door. And Jill is going to pick a bottle, any bottle in the bar, 
Pick a bottle, any bottle. She's going to bring it up here and show it to you. Here, you want to, I'm going to leave it in wide view, but you show it to him. Okay. Y'all don't tell me what the bottle was. Don't tell me what nope. the bottle was. Don't tell him. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to very poorly try to guess what the bottle was. And no, this is in no way this cup glass. a copy of Poor Guesses. No, give me a Glen Cairn over there. Like, is there not a Glen Cairn? Uh -uh. All right, then get the, um, there were some glasses on the bar. Where did they go? They were, oh, this one. The neat glass would be better. <laughs> yeah, 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 that glass. Um, so pour it in that, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to really suck at guessing this. This is a brand new thing. I've never done this before, and so I'm going to suck pressure. at it. I feel the pressure. I feel lots of pressure on this Yeah, one. so y'all help her. Y'all don't help no. her too much, because if I see it, yeah. then I might, right. then I might see it. Like, I, don't, I can't see it. So what you're going to have to do is, if they help you, you're just going to have to wait and tell them to fill the chat up and push it out of because we won't scroll. So just make sure the answer is pushed okay. out of the chat. All right. I'll, I'll, yeah, okay. So I'll give you all the first, like. And you can't say it out loud because I can kind of hear a little bit. Right. Okay. okay. First 30 seconds to, like, tell me what I should pick. Tell me what I should pick. Come on, guys. I don't know. Let's see. Do I see anything? <laughs> I love it, Aaron. Love it. That's a good suggestion. All right. Anybody else? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Perfect pour. That's his favorite. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Good one, Uncle Nate. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's see. Oh, where we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Ooh, he'll know that one. Darn it. I need to stump him. I don't want him to get it. Oh, this is not easy. I don't like pressure-filled situations. I'm not good under pressure. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, what else we got up here? Uh... <laughs> The grossest. Um. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that would be good, but I think he'd probably get it. Let's see. I think he probably guessed that. Did I see that one? Uh. Oh, I did see that one. I think. Who? Who said that? Yeah. Okay. Um. Should I just go by? Bottle. Yeah. No, don't help me. If you go, if you go to the stream deck and you push the bottom left button, it should zoom all the way out so that they can see most of the bottles behind you, including the top shelf. I don't want to mess anything up. I think they pretty much have seen your top shelf before. Okay. All right. Hmm. No, I've got I got really great suggestions. Okay. I just got to pick one. There's too many, too many. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> well, it looks like it's gonna be this shelf since I can't reach any higher. Oh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You didn't hear that. It could be the top shelf. You just don't know. You don't know. Hmm. Ooh, this is a pretty bottle. I don't know what that is. This is probably, ooh. I'm, I got one. Did anybody put this one? All right, I'm going to show you a bottle, and y'all say yes or no. I got to get a chair to get it. Okay. All right, everybody. What y'all think? This one? Yes, no, 
Maybe. Is there any yeses? Yes, 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 okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. I got some yeses on that. We're gonna go with this one. All right, hold on. All right. Y'all keep filling it up with yes so all the suggestions go away. All right, here we go. All right. There we go. All right. Hold on, Thomas. It's not time yet. Ooh. This is a lot of work. Oh my goodness. Okay. No, it's the right glass. It's the right glass. I promise. I promise. All right. Yes, Kellish. I'm careful. I made it. All right. Let's see. Are we ready? All this. Okay. Y'all keep going. We got them almost out of the comments. All right. Was that a hefty pour? Okay, well, he likes hefty pours. All right. We're going to put this one back over here so it don't confuse him. All right, we're ready? All right, Thomas. You can come on. Bruzel, TJ. <laughs> I call him Thomas, in case you didn't notice. All right, <laughs> you can look see all you want to look see. Did you put it back where it was? I did. All right, Chad, what was it? No, don't tell him. Uh, you don't. forgot to pour yourself one. Why? Should I pick a Should I pick a bottle and, and pour it for you, and then let you guess what it is? I'm never gonna guess what it is. I am never gonna guess what it is. There's a step ladder right over there. I think somewhere it may be in the in the closet back there. Oh yeah, I think it's in the closet. It's Jaeger. We don't have Jaeger. Okay. All right. Doesn't smell like a rye. Hmm. It's got some sweetness to it. So, um, if I'm gonna go with sweetness like that, I'm gonna say a Buffalo Trace product or a Four Roses. Smells like it's got some proof. It's Dr. Pepper, but is it Dr. Pepper Zero or is it regular Dr. Pepper? <laughs> WLW? It's definitely not Tabasco Dickel. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Mm. Tito's an old rip. <laughs> what What's interesting though is like, We've had several pours, including a few. Like, I've had a pretty hefty pour of a really high-proof whiskey. So I feel like my senses are just kind of numbed at this point because of that. So I'm going to try to rate this at a higher proof than I think it is. Just because, like, it feels like it's a low proof, but after drinking 140-proof whiskey, 120-proof whiskey is low proof. Mm. You know, yeah. so I just feel like my senses are a little numb. Mm -hmm. All right. What is that? Okay, I'm just going to go down the list. I'm just going to go first row. It's not that. <laughs> mm, I don't know much about that Doc Swenson's over there. I don't know much about that. That's the only thing over there I think it might could be. Here, don't think it's any of these. Um, I don't think it's rare breed. I thought I'd get a little bit of that kind of wild turkey flavor to it, not a lot. It's not any of those over there. So we moved up to the top shelf. Uh, I'm 
goodness. It's not oaky enough for that knob creak. The suspense is killing me. Oh, I don't know if I've had enough of that J. Mattingly. It's a weeder. It's high proof, though, and I'm not getting a ton of... I'm getting some proof on that, though. But again, I'm kind of numb to it. Um, FAE01. I really like FAE01, but I don't feel like this is a finished whiskey. Yeah, what's the prize if I stump you? What do you want? Ooh. <laughs> um, we'll make it um, at least sort of bourbon related. That we, this this trip happening like this year. What's the prize if I get it right? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I mean, you just upped the stakes, didn't you? You just brought out some expensive stakes. I did. Yes, and you didn't even marinate them in bourbon. The steaks marinate. No, never mind. It's a callback. Yeah. Well, don't you burn them. <laughs> That's a callback. <laughs> don't you burn them. So what's the prize, Jill? I mean, if we're betting. Because, see, the, okay. odds are, the odds are against me. So the odds should be very much in my favor. Well, if I stump you, we go. If you stump me, we don't. This year. That's not fair. Yeah, it is. I want to go, too. <laughs> we're going to go this year. We go next year. We just don't go this year. <laughs> yes, Michael. Don't burn them. <laughs> WL? I don't think this is WL. They're going to be disappointed if you can't name the Rick House, the floor, and if it was the east or the west side of the building. It is tough. There's a little oakiness on it. There's a pleasant sweetness on it. It does taste like a high proof whiskey, but again, my proof filter is just really, really burned right now. Um, so I get some nice burn from it. So now I have to decide. I'm going to say that is not a Buffalo Trace product. Um, I can't. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. You ain't got to. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't. What I'm to, saying is, it's not whatever. It's not E.H. E. Taylor. It's not B. Tech stuff. It's not the Pappy. I don't know if I've had enough of that old Carter. I don't know if I've had enough of that old Carter. <laughs> it's bourbon, Michael said. It's definitely bourbon. Definitely, definitely. So, like, I barely, bourbon. I barely tried that old Carter. So, I'm kind of between the old Carter and the Four Roses stuff I've got up there. Honestly, if I'm, I'm down to a couple. <laughs> what is Someone it? Someone says you get season tickets for Alabama if you get it wrong. Mm. <laughs> All right. You clue giver. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. But I like most of the things I have here. True that. I'll try to get rid of the things I really don't like, unless it's really bad, and then I just keep it for, like, you know. People. Yeah, just to make fun of it occasionally. Um... Yes, that one guy, he is an Auburn fan. Time is up. Michael says time is up. There is no time. There is no time, we Michael. Th we should have set a timer. We should have We're going to have to build in a timer for this. If, we're, if we keep this segment up, if y'all enjoy this segment, we will. Uh, we, this is not the old fits. I don't think this is the old fits. I feel like the proof's too high. It's 100 proof, but like I feel like my proof sensors are off. And that old Fitz has a little bit of a flavor to it. So I'm having a hard time deciding. I'm, I may be wrong on both of them, but I'm leaning the old Carter or the Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength. What is the proof on those? But again, my proof filter is all off, so I'm not sure. Looks like that might be 116, and that one over here might be. Of course, you got the Four Roses Limited behind it. Um... <laughs> I 
Should I just say the names and then you know watch your faces? Is that what I should do? Mm-mm. Just watch your face and see if it. Uh... So, old Carter. Are you guessing? Because do I get my trip if you're wrong? Four roses, single barrel, barrel strength. Do I get my trip if you're wrong? Four roses, limited edition. Do I? Okay. Am I? It's the four roses, limited edition. Do I, are, is that your final answer? Yeah. Do final I get answer. my trip if you're wrong? No. That's not fair. Oh. <laughs> I must <No>. be wrong. <laughs> Come on. I must be wrong. Uh, that's the one you made the. That's the one you made the biggest face on. So I get my trip if you're wrong. No. Why? What do I get? We're gonna do the trip anyway. Oh, okay. Well, I just get bragging rights if he's wrong. Then. Yes. Is it the Four Roses Barrel Strength Limited Edition? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> it is not. What is it? Everybody tell him what it is. Come on, tell him. He can know now because he guessed wrong. I stopped him. I told you I was going to be terrible at this. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Stopped. I told you I was going to be terrible at stopped. this. I stopped him. Blue Run? Blue Run. <laughs> oh, my taste buds are burned. Because the, the Blue Run's a high ride. But I got no rye on that. <laughs> like, I got no rye on that whatsoever. I stumped you. That's a good bottle, though. Like, I like you that blue run. It. What is the proof on that? Grab uh, that bottle for me. Can you reach it again? Where's it at? I'll reach it. Okay, yeah, you reach it. <laughs> it's up there. I didn't get any rye on that at all. My my, oh, my tasters are... Where's it at? It's up there on... Right there. The butterfly. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh huh. Uncle Nate was trying to help you out. You didn't see it though. Thank goodness. It is 111 proof, so I was I was I was Uncle, close that it was. Uncle Nate said, "Think metamorphosis." <laughs> oh, I wasn't gonna cheat. I was trying not to cheat. Um, but Thank 111 you, proof. That's a pretty good bottle of whiskey. Um, and I haven't drank much of that one either. Like that pour really took it down. I haven't drank much of that. Yep. one. Yep. That so one guy a, said the first thing you said was, "I don't think it's a right." But I, I don't think it's a rye, and it's not a rye. It's a high rye bourbon, but Still I don't. I, I didn't. I did not get a lot of rye spice on that. When I first time I tasted it, which I literally have had one pour out of this before tonight, um, and I think so, a couple of other folks had a pour. I literally just I got a little rye spice on it, but Woo. it's opened up like it's been sitting up there for a couple of months now, and I just didn't get the rye spice. That's why I didn't think it was that. Like it was all kind of sweetness. Really pleasant though, like that was a really good pour. Zoom in on the bottle for everybody there. Got a butterfly and some words on the back. I'm not going to read them to you, but there they are. Um, so you got me. Dang it! I don't feel like I was too far off on that though. I didn't go too far. I was wrong, but I wasn't too far. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Jill did good. Jill did I good. I did good. It is a pretty bottle, Michael. I love the butterfly on it. It's my bottle when it's done. Definitely keeping that one. I still don't get it. Maybe just a hair. Oh, that's pretty good. Just a hair of rye, but I, I kind of took that as like a little bit of age. So I was like, there's a little bit of oakiness to this, which is what made me think it might be that limited four roses. Um, and... Mm. Grab a, a grab a grab grab a grab uh, a another glass over there. Uh, which one? Because we uh, any um, the the um, the Norlands are fine. These pretty yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. The pretty ones. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like the blue run. That was good. Again, you see, I've had this bottle for two years, and that's all I've drank out of it. So it's smart if you're gonna try to stump me. The smart thing to do would be to pick one that doesn't have a lot out of it because I haven't tried it a whole bunch, right? Um, just for a little. Yeah, that's a little different. That's got a, but I, that's kind of what I was picking up and I thought was kind of what, what that rye spice is. But try that. That's definitely got a little rye in it, right? Ooh. So it's definitely got a little rye. And this is the 2020 limited release, 110 
Actually, 111.4 proof. So, I, like, the one I picked is spot on proof wise with this guy here. Like, literally, this is 55.5%, and this one is 55.7%, like, right in that range. I can see that. And, it, like, it's, it's not too, like, especially seeing how I haven't drank this one in like a year and a half. Yeah. Like you could see how I it's got some that. of that same similar rye. Similar. Like this, yeah. this has some rye in it. So I think I actually did pretty good. I do too. I think I did you pretty did good. Pretty like good. I didn't get the bottle, and I, so maybe we need to like I need to like write down the proof. I need to like do some things like the bourbon those junkies those do. Similar. Let's just completely totally copy their format this and just do similar. it live, right? It's similar. I like that. Yeah, couldn't see the label. Uh, these right, label. Uh, we'll zoom in on them one more time. They're, we'll try they're one, both really one good. more again. There you go. I don't know. You can't really see the label. Sorry, the lights are all like shining on them. But this is Blue Run High Rye, and this is the uh, Four Roses Limited Edition 2020 from last or from year before last. Um, and so they're actually very similar whiskeys. This one actually has this. This Four Roses has a little more. A little more rye spice to me. This has got to be a finished whiskey, though. I said I wasn't sure it was finished. But this has got to have rye spice and light oak. It's, I don't know. This, this just kind of tastes. I can't read the letters on the back, but the light's all facing this way. So the yeah. back of a bottle's dark. Um, so I, I they're a little good. different, but they're not too dissimilar. So I did okay. All right. I'm going to switch to my Dr. Pepper. Interested in some bourbon barrel stouts? Yeah, I'm, I'm always interested in things, man. Blue Run, she did give me a good pour. She did good. I did good. I'm proud Blackfish of Blackfish Bandit, I don't know what you're talking about. Do it again. <laughs> you want me to do it again? So did y'all like this segment? Was this fun? Um, should we continue this? I'm trying to get Jill to stream with me every Monday. I don't know if she'll do it. But I'm trying to guilt her into it as much as I possibly can. <laughs> yeah, Rifty, you missed the Koi Hill. Um, we did a taste of several different Jack Daniels, then tried the Koi Hill. The Koi Hill is freaking spectacularly fantastic it's, right here. It is, it is exceptionally really high proof, but good stuff. Really, really good. I, Big Daddy, I literally just bought a TX the other day, so that should be coming pretty soon. What's a TX? That is a, it's a Texas whiskey. Oh. I bought one the other day. It's in the back. Haven't opened it yet. Going to be doing a review. I may film that review tomorrow. I don't know. Do another blind, something high end. They want us to do another one like right now. <laughs> what time stamp? Would, we're not that sophisticated, Landon. I apologize. <laughs> not, not. It was pretty funny, though, because Jill, we got a close up of Jill's face when she tried Coy Hill for the first time. So, hey, I'm pretty Ooh. darn proud of myself. Film it tomorrow. So, I think. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to film tomorrow afternoon. I'll put TX in there. Uh, it may take a couple of weeks, maybe even a few for it to come out once we film it because we've got a few in the hopper, like bourbon reviews. Uh, but also, I'm going to live stream. I'm going to try to set up and live stream for supporters. So for patrons and uh, channel members over on YouTube, although I'm not sure. We don't have that set up yet. That'll be coming. But we do have live stream subscribers over on TikTok. Uh, so we're going to go live. We're going to go live only on YouTube, but that's going to be private and limited only to our supporters. So we'll drop it in the Discord. So if you are a supporter of the channel in some way, make sure you're in the Discord. Link in the bio on TikTok, and we drop it regularly over here on uh, on YouTube. So, aren't you proud of me? You did. You did a really good job, Jill. That is this whole live stream has been a lot of fun. This is the most proof I've ever drank. They're a lot more. They're a lot more fun when you're here. Oh, you're so sweet. What is TX? Let me grab it. Put a Bowman in there. We, we've been drinking some Bowman the last couple of streams. Let me grab it. I think it TX is back here. I'm going to be a liar if I didn't buy it. We've got a lot of whiskey lately. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. He found it. So I've got like, I've got like five or six bourbons back there that we're going to be live. We're going to be like doing a review of, and then I've got four or five open here we're supposed to be reviewing. But that's what we bought right there. Oh. So slide that out there and let them see it, Jill. You got to move some bottle. Yeah, just get that guy out of the way. Slide that TX. This is what we bought. Is this is this the right one? Um, let me see if I can read the label here. This says, oh, God, I'm going to need a light for that. 
I'm getting old and this is really dark. All right, so 90 proof, born from pure passion and patience, we are extremely proud to share our distinctly Texas straight bourbon with you. Using locally farmed corn and wheat and a one of a kind yeast, we captured and skillfully cultivated the providence of this bourbon whiskey is the reward. It is remarkably smooth and exudes, an I was about to say antique, but it says unique flavor. These are really small font. Unique flavors of dark fruit, sweet spice, and caramel. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Well, there you go. TX. TX. Interesting. So, should be filming that tomorrow then. Put a bow in my haven't tried the Breckenridge. You, you want to join the patron? So uh, just go to patreon.com forward slash bruzel. Uh, I think there's a link in the bio, though. Should be. Uh, Long Branch and that price point. What was Long Branch? $40, $45. And that price point, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Like, I, it, I'll take that hands down over Long Branch in the day of the week. Uh, Flex. Sorry, sometimes they move really fast. I'm looking. I don't see a question from you. Now, it doesn't mean you're blocked. Sometimes TikTok just crazy, man. Sometimes they don't go through. So Flex, if you would, ask it again and I'll be on the lookout for it. But I don't see any question from you other than that question where it just says, am I blocked? And if you're on desktop, Lord have mercy, good luck. I know when I join live streams on desktops, uh, yeah, see, I'm going see, all the way back. Yeah. There's no comment from you at all. So if I'm on desktop, they just don't go through like 90% of the time. All right, Big J Rock, enjoy vacation. Bowman Barrel Port, or bo drinking Bowman Port Barrel. Uh, yeah, it was a little too much port finish for me. Take it easy, Brian. TikTok does have a mind of its own for sure. 71K subs on YouTube. Nice. We got there. We've slowed down our view. Like, it's weird. Our, our videos the last week have just died for some reason. The last three or four we've released have been kind of kind of bombs. we got to pick it back up. Yeah, yeah. Get my address. Uh, my address should be in the bio. P.O. Box. Should be able to send, uh, send anything you want over to that P.O. Box. More entertaining than watching an Auburn game. Oh, God. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I this is just the regular TX, that. yes. Hopefully not for your own sake. Tastes like a flavored whiskey. Then it's going to get a bad review. Keep an eye out for Flex's comment here if he posts it. I don't know why it wouldn't post. Sometimes they just don't come through. Your TX is 84 proof? This one says 90 proof, doesn't it? Yeah, 45% alcohol. So, Texas... This is their straight bourbon whiskey. That might be the difference. I don't know. I just saw it. We've been getting a lot of questions about it. What is Patreon? So Patreon is just a way for you to give me money. That's pretty much what it is. It's a way for you to support the channel. Now, we're going to have YouTube channel memberships being over on YouTube. We're going to get those set up. Those should be ready by the... I'm hoping they're, they should be ready by Wednesday, by the live stream on Wednesday. So you could support us in a similar way. Um, all, I, all I promise you, this is all I promise, is that when you support us in any way, whether it be YouTube memberships, live stream uh, subscriptions over on TikTok or patrons, um, I promise to spend the money you donate to us in the least responsible ways I can imagine, <laughs> right? I'm going to do the dumbest things we can possibly do with that money. We are going to take dumb trips. We are going to fix up dumb cars. We are going to do dumb experiments. Like It just allows us to really be creative and try to have a lot of fun because that's what that's what this hobby is supposed to be. Like, And I've got a video. I'm going to shoot a video tomorrow about how it's supposed to be fun. And there's a lot of people um, on both platforms, but you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of privy to a lot more of them on TikTok that are just very serious about whiskey. Whiskey is a very serious thing, and this is the way you're supposed to do it, and these are the whiskeys you should enjoy, and it's just freaking exhausting. It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be some kind of stodgy thing where we sit around with our pinkies up and, you know, just be silly about stuff. So, um, 
that's what we're about here. Like that's what this channel is about is having fun with it, enjoying, experimenting, and doing kind of silly things with it, right? Because it's supposed to be fun. Blade and Bow, nice. Saturday, I got a Weller Antique. Well, I got a Weller Antique 107 and a Blanton's. And then I went to a store in town and I actually ended up picking a couple of old dusty old Forrester single barrel, not old Forrester, excuse me, Evan Williams single barrels, 2011 vintage, which is like, they, they, those are Tennessee only release or Tennessee, Kentucky only releases now. And so those are cool. Like I found, a, I found a few of those and picked up a couple of them. Yeah, I should be filming it, but it won't come out until later there. Um, Popo. So I'm going to do the live stream and I'm, I'm starting to do that live stream only for patrons. We'll see. We don't have a ton of patrons. We got a few. And so if one or two of them show up and enjoy the stream, we'll do it patron only or supporter only. Like it may be like any supporter, as long as you're on discord, that's where we'll promote it. Um, but as long as some folks show up, if they don't show up, like if we can't get in, cause I know like there's a limited number and they, they're busy cause I'm going to be filming during the day. We may open it back up at some point and try to stream while I'm, while I'm filming. What you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I got. So I ended up buying a few bottles. I haven't had the new batch of midwinter nights dram. Thank you, Clint. All right, let me catch up. Still Austin. I'm going to get it. It's on the list. It's on the list. Texas has entered the chat. Do they still have the burlap around the neck of that bottle? I don't see it. It is not burlap, no. No. Are the private shows where Thomas shows off his Speedo collection and reviews umbrella drinks? Mm. If, that, if that would be extremely entertaining to you, I would gladly review umbrella drinks, but nobody wants to see me in a Speedo. I'm going to be straight. Like, I, then nobody, nobody. If you say you do, you're lying. Nobody does. <laughs> Okay, nobody wants to see that. The Coy Hill was freaking incredible. Freaking incredible. Um, I haven't opened the Evan Williams single barrel. We're going to do a review on that for sure. That's coming up. That's coming up. Jefferson's Reserve, where's the price? I mean, it's a fine whiskey. I, I don't, the Jefferson stuff is not something I just gravitate toward, but the Jefferson's Reserve, especially the finished versions of that, were not, I, I, I didn't really care much for them. Now, if it's just Jefferson's Reserve bourbon, it's probably pretty good, but I didn't find them exceptional. Looking for some Koi Hill sipping on a single barrel barrel proof. Close, it is close, but it is not as good. Do what? I said close, but not good. Oh, yeah. It's, I wish that I wanted to. Do I tried to go it? find you one. You don't have. Oh, that's we, no, you, you mixed all of my last one with Coke. We ran out of Jack Daniels. You mixed all of my single barrel barrel strength with Coke. That's where that bottle Don't went. tell everybody that. Why? Because they will think less of me. Why would they think less of you? You're hitting good whiskey with Coke. That's, that's Yeah, but awesome. y'all say that's a bad thing to do. I don't give a shit if it's a bad thing or to do. Like they, Nobody, listen, listen. If people here, if you're in this live stream right now, if you're hanging out with us and you think it is like beneath you to mix a good whiskey with Coke, just go on and check out, <laughs> right? Just go on and check out because we, you are not going to like it around here. Like, you're welcome to hang out if you're just cool and you want to, like, if you're just into, like, a circus act or something, you want to see a little bit of a bourbon freak show, go ahead and hang out. But realistically, we're not your people, you know? Like, I like it neat. I'm a neat guy. But if I decide I just want to mix this with Dr. Pepper, I'm going to mix it with Dr. Pepper. Like, that's what I'm going to do. Did I guess? I did guess. I guessed this Four Roses, so I was wrong. It's pretty close, though, really. Trying them. Yeah, join the Discord. The link is in the bio. Good night, Kelly. Appreciate you joining. But like night, the, the private stream is going to be supporters only in the Discord, not just anybody. Although, if the supporters, if we don't have a big enough group for them to make it on the regular and I'm just live streaming to nobody, I may open it up to just Discord. Honestly, I may do just Discord. And then as the supporter group grows, I may just limit it to that as well. So that, that may be what I do tomorrow. We may experiment with just a Discord only stream. Make it private, drop it in the Discord. It'll be sometime tomorrow after lunch. I don't really know exactly what time. You got this jack? You almost got this jack today? I doubt you almost got this jack today, Kyle. I mean, you may have, but this is Koi Hill. And so, like this, now you may have got a bottle similar, like the single barrel. Those are good. This is freaking exceptional. Uh, have you had Detling? Yes. Didn't like it. 
Goddard would like to see me in a Speedo. Like, the question is, is how much would you donate to see me in a Speedo? <laughs> I'm not Bubble Bath. I don't think Bubble Bath is in here. But Bubble Bath, you know, I think he'll rock a Speedo anytime you want him to. Uh, well, our special reserve's fine. It's not, it's not a, you like, it's my, it's right there toward the bottom of the Weller lineup for me. It's a good pour, but not exceptional. We haven't tried the TX yet. We're going to open it probably tomorrow on stream for when we're filming. So the, the Discord only stream. There's no bad way to drink bourbon, exactly. Uh, I, yes, I'm going to post a review of the Koi Hill for sure. Um, I don't know when. Like, we've already got two or three reviews that haven't come out yet that are filmed. And we're trying to only drop one review a week. So, and I'm going to film another couple of them tomorrow. So, it might take a while for that to actually hit. Oh, yeah. Brian likes early times, my review on that. That's a good whiskey for sure. The 100 proof, yeah, the Jack Daniels bonded is good stuff. I like the triple mash better, though. Uh, I haven't drank a ton of Colorado whiskey, so I, I couldn't tell you. Haven't had Rebecca Creek. Yeah, Ken, if you can get your hands on a Coy Hill, definitely worth it. I mean, it's not worth like secondary prices, but it's worth. Um, Old Forester Bottled and Bond. I don't think. I mean, there's an Old Forester 100 proof, but is it? I don't think it's bonded, is it? I could be wrong, but there's most of my Old Forester 100 proofs. I think all of the ones I have now are single barrel um, hundred proof store picks, and those are exceptional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're talking about secondary prices, that's nuts, but it's delicious. <laughs> TX Whiskey Bourbon Blind Review. So, like, mm. so what we should do? That's interesting, Joseph. I like that idea. So, what we should do? What we should do? Is ha I should have a whole like archive of unopened whiskey that we want to review. And I should have Jill come down here and pick the bottle and pour it. And then me review it not knowing what it is. And then film the intro to set the video up. What do you think about that? So what do I got to do? <laughs> that would be just like coming in here. I would have a whole bunch of whiskey. Yep. And you would just pick one, uh -huh. make me a nice pour, yep. a hefty pour, because yep. sometimes i got to go back hefty a couple pour. times. Yes. And then I would do the review not knowing what it is. Yeah, and then, I could do that. And then we drop it on them. That doesn't require me to be in a video. Right? Now, I've got to like, no, you're, you're not really in the video. It's just right. like, hey, Jill yeah, okay. blind poured this. I could do that. Although it would be better if you like poured it on camera. Nobody wants to see me pouring it. Everybody wants pour like, on listen, camera. It's just it's a bit like it's a story. I need the I need the continuity. Oh my goodness. I don't know. It's an interesting idea. I'm gonna have to marinate on that a little bit, but yeah, yeah, no old Forster is bottle and bond. I didn't think so, but the hundred proof is still really good. TX is awesome. Michter's toasted sour mash. That video came out already. We we dropped that release release. It's pretty good. Didn't really like that blue run. The High Rye Blue Rye? Is it the High Rye one? No, they've got quite a few. So make sure it's the High Rye. I really liked it. It's good stuff. Woodford's good. I don't like. I don't drink a lot of like normal Woodford. I literally don't have a normal Woodford here. I need one. Um, but the Double Oaked, the the limited release stuff, the, what is it, the Master Distillers Woodford stuff is fantastic. Name my price for the Speedo? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I don't know. It would be a lot, because that is a lot of shame. A lot of shame comes with that one. Mr. Clean wants to see the Speedo, I think. <laughs> I, I think that's what he's saying. He finally got a Koi. Oh, I got a five. Yes, I finally got a you So Mr. Clean just showed up. He's not trying to see my Speedo. He's trying to see my Koi Hill. Yes, and it is beautiful and wonderful and exceptional. Yeah, yeah, we're um, we are drinking oh on Mondays and Wednesdays, so... Well, how about Booker's? Booker's is. Have you had Booker's? I don't know. Would you like well, to try you're drinking on Mondays and Wednesdays? Yeah, yeah. Jill's only going to be here on Mondays. Mm, sometimes. Mondays. <laughs> Bubble bath speedo bourbon reviews. Took off and paid for two hot rods, a, a full, full rack of pappies and Jill's yearly bourbon row expedition. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> just, just half a pizza, and it's hard to beat. I don't. It is a tasty looking selection. Pour it. We want to see, see, they want to see the pour on camera. 
Booker G is high, but it's like really intense. I don't have Ronnie's batch. What I have open right now is Granny's batch. 2021. Granny's yes. batch. Wish Eagle Rare 17 was 117 proof. What is Eagle Rare 17? I've got it back there. I don't know what the proof is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go live. We're still going live Mondays and Wednesdays on both TikTok. We're going to go live on at 8 o'clock. Uh, and we're going to try to keep this up consistently on TikTok and YouTube. Now, the problem with TikTok is that doing it through this big camera is like, uh, it, it just kills the views. But we've had a lot less trolls and stuff. So that helps. I think it really just promotes to followers and not to everybody. But that's a bug I'm sure they're aware of and they're trying to work on. So, um, yeah, Brevard says, pour it. Great idea, blind review. I like it. I need to do that. Uh, the, yeah, the Coy Hill's freaking fantastic, Mr. Clean. Fantastic. A Woodford Double Double I need a Woodford Double Double O, T-Row. If I had one, I would review the hell out of it. Double Double O. Yeah, yeah, Like, I've never seen one. I've literally never even put my eyes on a Double Double O. I've seen Double O. Never seen Double Double O. Where are they selling it? I don't know. People keep talking about it. I'm not even sure it exists. It's like a figment of their imaginations. It's a mythical Looks creature. Looks like we should go point. hunting for it. Like, all through Kentucky. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, we could drive to Vegas. We could leave right now. We'd be there by SEMA. We Cancel already, our tickets. We already paid pay for we, our we could, tickets. We could probably get credit and use those flights in the future, and we could take the Lincoln to Vegas and hunt in every state for double, double oaked. I can't. I'm just saying, Jill, you can. I'd already be away from, no, I can't do that. Take her. Make her go. <laughs> Haven't had bluegrass. Oh, God, you found the Coy Hill at retail? You are one lucky man, John Davis. 2.5K bottle. Oh, so you saw the wood for Baccarat, probably is what you saw. I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rebecca says, if I recall, it's 100 proof. And that was the Eagle Rare 17. Let, let, let's look at that. We can get an answer on that. That's an easy thing to figure out. <laughs> It's tiny, tiny font. That's because you need some glasses. I don't need some glasses. It's freaking dark in here. Okay, I bet I can read it. This is summer 2020, 101 proof. 101. Product of Kentucky. Let's let you try some bookers. So I gave, I want to say I gave Kelly some bookers not long ago when she was here. Okay, this is my last one. Though. Last pour, okay. Fair enough. And I've already drank Fair some enough. Dr. Pepper, so I'm going to have to drink it's some okay. water. It's this, okay. This is one this of those is... bourbons that will cut through Dr. Pepper like a knife. <laughs> oh, great. Awesome. Dr. What? Pepper is no match for Booker's. No match. Hero in says a it's good a good way or a bad way? I like it, but it's an acquired taste. Is there something more gettable that you would compare the blue run to? So it's got some rye spice to it. Um, I would say like one of the high rye four roses, but a barrel proof high rye four roses would probably Don't be. Do but that's still not super Kelly gettable. Kelly asks for, I think you think, okay. What? It says, Don't do it, Kelly asks for Calumet 16. Uh, he thinks I'm calling you Kelly. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is Jill. <laughs> Kelly was somebody that's in the chat, a friend of ours that lives down the street. Um, so, Calumet 16 is up there right next to this bottle. Is that good? It's pretty good. Not trying it tonight, but... I'll drink the rest of that. My favorite is William LaRue huh. Weller. So, this is Booker's 2020... Now, it smells like boiled peanuts and dirt. I'm trying to figure out what John's talking about over here. Oh, the Coy Hill. Oh, you're talking about the new Coy Hill. Yeah, that's the distillery only. That's the one from this year. This is the older one. We Dowie, of course. I went to Horseshoe Bend High School. That's where we I graduated Wedowie. from in, in Tallapoosa County. Um, we played We Dowie And so, in sports, yeah, right? we used to spend a lot of time at Randolph County and, and We Dowie. So, yeah, I got a lot of family. For, I'm actually from Daviston, Alabama. So, a lot of family in the Wadley area. Okay. <clears throat> What's your Have favorite? Have I had yeah, this before? Right. I think so, but I'm not sure. We haven't had the TX yet. That's going to be open tomorrow for a video. Uh, 
I haven't had the toasted Penelope. I literally want to go buy a toasted Penelope, but I hear great things about it. And honestly, every Penelope I've had has been really, really good. Yeah, Sean's got it right. 101 there. Nulu Double Oaked. Haven't had it. Haven't had it. Nashville Davidson Reserve. It's been a while since I've had, I had one. It's been a minute, so I can't give it a review. Uh, the, this Four Roses is fantastic. It's got a nice rye spice. Um, oh. yeah, a sub 100 proof. It, it could vary from year to year, Sean, so that's possible. Ten bottles to pick from? Hmm. It is for sure an acquired taste. Yeah, heat bookers. I didn't like, what'd you think, Jill? What'd you think? Um. This is 2001 Granny's Batch. I would say it's not the worst thing I've ever tasted. Okay. But it's not my favorite by any accounts. Yeah, Nash Vegas. That that name doesn't ring a bell, but that doesn't mean I don't know don't know him in some some way, shape, form, or fashion. From Weedowie to Florida, it's nice. Still lives on the lake. Lake Weedowie is a nice area. Not as bad as I was expecting. <laughs> You told me it was going to be... I mean, it's intense. That's an intense whiskey. Now, your taste buds may be burned from the yeah. Koi Hill, too. Mm -hmm. I definitely get the peanut, bull yeah. peanut. So, it, and my taste buds are... De like, this is just awesome. Like, a lot of the kind of, like, really strong flavors are a little more muted because it, my yeah, taste buds are just muted. burned by the hazmat Koi Hill. <laughs> so, this is just wonderful. It's still peanutty. But, like, a lot of the really strong mm. earthy notes are kind of tamed down because my taste buds have just yeah. give up. They just, they're on strike. I didn't think it was that bad. My taste buds are like, we quit hours ago, man. Congrats on your second live stream. Uh, this is much more than our second, but thank you. Appreciate it. I mean, this may be the second time you've been on YouTube. Me? This may be the second time you've been oh. You've done TikTok with me a couple times. Well, Maybe the first you. time you've been on YouTube. Budget tournament, yeah. So Rebecca, we did we did some content. Like I bought sixteen bottles of whiskey under twenty dollars, and we did a video or two where we were doing under twenty, um, like not really for shots, but under twenty, um, like blinds basically, or really just kind of taste test. They weren't really even blinds, and the videos just did not do well at all. Like nobody watched them. And so we just kind of scrapped that and I ended up with like a bunch of, like we, I think we should release two or three of those and we released two. They didn't do well. I think we changed the format, re-edited some, dropped another one or two more and they still didn't do particularly well. So we just kind of moved on. I think they ended up with a good bit of views on TikTok, but only because we released videos right after that had like a million views. So they kind of got pulled up with them. So we kind of just dropped the, the budget stuff. Um, just because nobody was watching it. We might, what I told, I told the team, we're going to do them as a long form video. So we're just going to do them all in one video and kind of get through it. Frey, I haven't tried, Frey Ranch is on my list. Haven't, haven't got any yet. Jack number seven. Well, I mean, if you're just talking about like in neat in a Glen Cairn or neat in a glass, um, Jack number seven is not my favorite either, but it's good stuff. If you're like pouring it over Coke. Uh, this Koi Hill is 142.7 proof. Blue Note Barrel. This is not the Blue Note Barrel strength. This is the ride. This is a high proof, but it's 111 proof. Blue Note Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey High Rye. And I, I kind of dig it. Uh, not near Dreamland. Now, we're in Auburn. Dreamland's very much like a University of Alabama thing. So there's one in... We eat at one... Was it in Montgomery or maybe Birmingham. Birmingham occasionally? Stuff like that. We've done that a few times, but there's none around here. Got the 139. Nice. Russell's 13 is good. It's not my favorite. Like, Russell's tend to give me a lot of bitter oak. Um, so it, it's got a great flavor, but then that bitter oak kind of takes over, which is not my favorite. But if the bitter oak is not off-putting to you, you're going to find it exceptional. So if you like a Russell's 10, if you like a Russell's 10... You're going to love a Russell's 13. And I, I think a Russell's 10 is pretty good. But the 13 is just a little better than that. But that bitter oak on both of those kind of get me. You've had Elijah Craig and Bullet. What should the third be? See, do you like both of those? Like, that's the question. I'm assuming you like both of those. 
So I want you to try something completely different. I want you to kind of mix it up a little bit. I'd really like for you to try like a Buffalo Trace. Um, that's super popular stuff, really sweet. So I, I think that's probably where you should go. This is the 2024 Roses, and we're opening up this TX on a live stream tomorrow. We're filming it for a video, so we'll be doing like a live stream for the Discord only while we're filming. Well, Big Texas, if you wait for a little while, we'll have it. So, yeah, I've definitely had more than two live streams there, Rebecca. Um, the guy at the store said Knob Creek is better than Larceny? Eh, it depends. So if you're talking about like normal Larceny, Probably, depends on which Knob Creek, but probably Larceny barrel strength stuff is actually pretty good. So if, you, if you're if you looking at a Larceny barrel proof, I might, especially the B522 we've got on the shelf, I would probably prefer that over any Knob Creek I've had. But, you know, that's debatable. Definitely different flavor profiles. Hey, you want some of this? No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm Went and picked done. a store, pick a Davison weeded bourbon, come to Nashville and give it a try. Awesome. Um, we may be up in Nashville early next year, so make sure you're in the Discord. That's when we go on trips, we're going to post in the Discord and try to maybe get together with a few folks that are in there while we do that. Buffalo Trace next up sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's sweeter than the ones you've been trying, although, you know, that, that bullet, it, like, both of those are good whiskeys. This is just going to be a different flavor profile. Rare Breed's good stuff. Booker's is good. Picked up two bottles last week. Russell's Reserve 12 single barrel. Yeah, the single barrel Russell's is good. Again, bitter oak, but it's good stuff. 2019 Four Roses. The 2020 is good. It's got a lot of rye spice to it, though. No, Dad, I, I did not get picked for the lottery. I am not lucky. I do not win things. Hated Four Roses Small Bat. Super underwhelming. Interesting, Harrison. What do you like? Like, what's your number one? What's your ride or die? Bib and Tucker, six years worth to buy. I hear a lot of good things about it. I haven't I haven't pulled the trigger yet. Uh, well, we, we didn't, like, this is the 2020 release. That's not really what the stream was about. This is a good bottle. Yes, if I found, like, if the 2020 Four Roses was at MSRP, the limited release Four Roses was at MSRP, I just buy it every year, right? But I'm not lucky enough to get it every year. Um, this was really more about the Koi Hill, which is freaking exceptional. Know nothing about whiskey or alcohol. Steph, still watch all your videos and love your personality. I got personality, Jill. What do you think about that? You definitely got personality. Is it a good one, though? Most of the time. When is it not? When I'm not happy with you. Like just that, that, like, that like six days a month. No, like right now. <laughs> like, like right now. When I cross the line. Yep. All right, Nate, take it easy. We probably, what time is it? Good it's night, 10 17. We've been rolling. Is it only 10 o'clock? Yeah, but Ooh. I'm about to. We've I'm only about been to going join Uncle like, Nate. We've only been going for two hours. That, that, that Coy Hill hits hard. I feel like we've been going three. I thought we were overtime. C922 is the best I've had. I haven't had that one yet. I need to find it. Too floral. Interesting. Now, have you had the barrel proof there, Rebecca? We do need to... Keith, let me know. We need to get together down in Panama City, Keith says. He said we should do another trip down there to the beach. I can always make a trip Jill's to the always beach. down for a beach. Make sure you're in the Discord. That helps a lot. Just makes it easier to communicate with folks. But, yeah, I'm down with that. Angels Envy Rise... Pretty good stuff. Rowan Creek was awful. Um, okay. Hmm. Now, let's see. We're talking about Noah's um, Mill and Rowan Creek. I assume what he's talking about, R-O-W-A-N, which was a Willet product. What is it? Um, someone asked, Jill, would you say you could tell it was a Jim, Jim Beam sourced? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, familiar to Knob Creek or Baker's. I am not that sophisticated. No. I would say it was good. Jill's not there yet. I'm Jill's not, not there, there yet. yet. <laughs> Jill's not there yet. I don't um, think you've had the... We have Bakers. We have Knob Creek. I don't think Jill's tried most of those, so... I'm at the point in my bourbon journey where I can just say, oh, that's good. I like that. It smells good. It tastes good. I would drink that. <laughs> that's where I'm at. Sorry. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll get there, Rocket Boy. I don't know. We'll see. There's no way I could let him pick a bottle. And then you guess what it is. And then me yeah. guess what it is. Like, absolutely no way. I am nowhere near that <laughs> that level. <laughs> Cat's Cav says, what's one quality daily go-to? Um... Like, on the regular, we drink probably the most ancient, ancient age 10-star, honestly. That's probably the bottle we go through the most right now. Uh, one special occasion favorite? Like, I'm trying to think, like, special... Like, honestly, we, we keep a few where, like, if somebody comes here, like, some friends come over, and they're kind of into bourbon, but they don't really know what some of these bottles are or how special they are. We've got a few. We just, I'm just not going to serve. I'm not going to give them William LaRue. I'm not going to give them the Pappy 15. Um, we're going to give them some really nice bottles, but we're not going to go that far if they don't really know what those are and how special they are. Um, other than that, like, I don't have any we really keep for special occasions. Like, I just, I'm, you know, if somebody comes here and they really want to try it, then we're going to try it, especially if they know what it is, right? Uh, Angels of you, right. I haven't had that one. Um, and then, yeah, I'm interested in that Rowan Creek. It's been a while since I've had it. I didn't think it was awful, um, but it wasn't good enough for me to buy another one. Elijah Craig Barrel Strength Single Barrel. Um, I So is it a single barrel barrel strength? Had to be a store pick of some sorts, right? Um, I've got single barrels. I don't think I have any single barrel barrel strengths. I've got barrel strengths, not single barrel barrel strengths. I don't know if I said that right, but... Um, and I've got some single barrels, but they're not barrel strength. So, um, I don't know, but the barrel strength Elijah Craig is good. I need a little water on it. Like it's just not something I really, really love. Booker's was something I had to grow on. Um, not, not something I loved right away, but yeah, after trying it, I, I like this bottle enough. I bought a backup just so I would have it. Four Roses Small Batch is life. It's hard to, hard to disagree. Booker's Lumberyard. Haven't had that one, but that's interesting. I keep an eye out for it. Angels in me right. Oh yeah, yeah. One oh seven is my. That's my. That's my jam right there. Um, but I need to try that. Noah's meal probably going to be similar to that Rowan's Creek. I would think. Um, both Willet products, but it's been a while since I've. I had one. It was. It was fine enough for us to drink it. But that was years ago. So and and I was really not super like into bourbon as much as I am now when I had that bottle. So I don't really want to give a thought on it. I need another one to do that. Yes, Four Roses is good stuff. Basil Hayden's and Angels of Yes, Four Roses would be good for you. What is it? You out? You I'm checking out? out? Yes. You checking out? Are you staying? All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and call it then. Jill's calling the live stream. Oh, no. We haven't don't reviewed put that the TX. No, no, no. <laughs> don't he's, put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. He's staying. I'm going. I, I got to go watch Gilmore Girls. Good night, just everybody. Just by yourself? You're going to go watch no, Gilmore Girls? No, with my girls. It's our nighttime routine. I thought Ava's gone. No, she's here. Ava's back? Yeah, she, I thought she was spending the night with somebody. She was, but she came back with me when I went over there to see the puppy. Oh, it didn't work out? No, she okay. decided she wanted to come home. Well, there you go. So, All right, so go I'll watch. hang out for a little while. Good night, longer. everybody. Thank y'all. It was a great, great time. I thought there Maybe were no... I'll see y'all next Monday. I thought there were no kids, or at least the oh, youngest kids. we will be kid. here next Monday. We will not... Yes, we will not be streaming next week. I'm going to be in Vegas at SEMA. But I thought the, the little one was going to be gone, so I was going to go ahead and kill the stream... Oh, sorry. And so, little one's here. Um, Let's keep yeah, streaming. Y'all stream. Good plans night. change. The plans have adjusted. Good night. Good night. Good night. Y'all gonna get to see an extreme close up. Extreme. Look, gotta look. Gotta look right at it. Gotta look right at it. Let's put this. Get this chair out of the way over here. And all then right. we'll slide this one back in here. Your shoes and stuff are all in the. All in the way. Do you need a Dr. Pepper? I mean, I could always use a Dr. Pepper, Jill. I think I got my water over here, though. There you go. All righty. All righty. Let's go till we got to go to 11 at least, right? We got to do that. So what should we do? Like, all the fun's gone. Now, Jill takes all the fun with her. So what should we do until 11? Yeah, I haven't reviewed the TX. Again, the TX is going to be filmed tomorrow to be released later. You you could see my review on the live stream tomorrow if you were in the Discord, which is in the bio. Love Blanton's Gold. Haven't had Whistle Pig 12. It does take some time. Uh, Maker's Mark 46. It's pretty good. I don't know if I'd put it up in my favorites, but that's pretty good whiskey, Maker's Mark 46. It's 
You know, some folks love makers, some folks don't. Chestnut Farms, haven't had it. Um, wished I was going to SEMA. SEMA's a lot of fun. Midnight, yeah, it'd be 11 for us. So right now it's like 10, 24. So we're going to go 36 more minutes. Q&A, let's, well, I mean, we get a ton of questions. So ask a question. Let's answer it. Finished a bottle of E.H. Taylor going to my $25.99 Weller Special Reserve. Hey, that's pretty good. For that price, enjoy the heck out of that. Four rows of small batch select is a, is a goodie. Somebody earlier said they didn't like it, but I, I agree. Uh, the Starlight Huber. Um, the only Starlight I have is the Amberana finished, which I think is the Huber cigar batch. Um, it's, eh, it's, it's different. It's different. I'll give you that. First to last. I agree. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Slingshot. Starlight, woo, somebody needs to buy a space there. Come on, Central, what are we going to start? I got to read with no spaces. Starlight Distillery Old Rickhouse Indiana Straight Rye Whiskey. Somebody's space bar is broken. Won't be disappointed. I heard Coy Hill was trash. Send to me to dispose of. All right, I'll see what I can do, Mr. Clean. It's not going to happen, but I'll see what I can do. Eagle Rare versus Blanton's. I would probably pick Blanton's most of the time, but Eagle Rare's a good pour. Um, that little bit of extra proof is going to help me. Stream a little from SEMA. Well, we're going to do, we're definitely going to film a video. I'm going to try to film like bourbon hunting in Vegas. What I was hoping to do is to hop in the Lincoln and drive to Vegas and do one video in each state along the way, trying to do bourbon hunting in each one of those states. But I just don't have the time. So that just didn't work out, nor do I have the budget. But I don't have the time more so than the budget. Like, I'm, I'm not afraid of just spending money I don't have. Um, I just can't spend time I don't have. Can't get there. Scotty is turning 21 soon. Uh, we'll figure out how to process that later. What should be my first mixed drink? An old fashioned or a Jack and Coke? That's really what I started on. But honestly, I didn't really start drinking until I was in my 30s. So Jefferson's Ocean depends on the batch, really. It batch like 17, didn't like 22, loved it. So try Rebecca Creek. I'll, I'll do that. It's on the list. What's the best, most affordable bourbon? The best bourbon you can get in the state of Alabama for under $20 is Evan Williams Bottle and Bond. Around $20 is going to be the benchmark stuff, but not eight. Like benchmark bonded, single barrel, small batch, those kind of things. Armagnac finished bourbon whiskey is, yeah, yeah. Starlight, yeah, yeah, but the Armagnac stuff is really, really strong. Uh, I'm going to shoot some videos, probably not at SEMA. Like how do I do a bourbon video at SEMA? But I'm going to do some while I'm in Vegas. Um, so that was good. Thoughts on Canadian whiskey. Don't drink a lot of it. Uh, yes, I have the Lost Monarchs. Pretty good stuff. HM says, try it. Is it possible a beginner bourbon? It's what a beginner bourbon. Like Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, that'd be a pretty good beginner bourbon. A little high proof at 100 proof, but yeah. Oh, Stag Jr. is freaking fantastic. Oh, God, take the Corrado? Okay, so if I decided to leave Auburn, Alabama and take the Corrado or Opelika, Alabama and take the Corrado to Vegas... I might make Mississippi. If I was lucky, I would make it to Mississippi. Uh, I would have to take the Lincoln. Absolutely for sure. Would you choose basic Booker's or basic E.H. Taylor? E.H. Taylor. If I'm just talking about ones I enjoy, like Booker's is a novelty. Like that's kind of a freak show a little bit for me. I enjoy it. It's good. But if I'm just hanging out and having a good whiskey, I'm not going to be drinking that, honestly. Like it's just... You got to understand here, I'm into a little a little bit of the novelty of it. I'm into putting on a show. I'm into variety. And this is a change of pace bourbon. This is not like middle of the road bourbon for me. And so this is this Booker's is good for, for that kind of change of pace, trying something different, something more intense and flavorful. But if I'm just like going outside and sitting around a campfire and having a bourbon, um, I'm just going to take the E.H. Taylor every single freaking time. New Basin Distillery in Central Oregon. I haven't tried that. Nice. Mai Tai, Scotty, but you have to drink it on Waikiki at Duke's. Well, there you go. Ah, uh, Jefferson Associate H. Yes, the, the 22, Voyage 22 is a weeded, and it was really, really good. 
Didn't like the 24. I haven't tried the 24. But honestly, folks who come in here, some say they love the 24. Some say they don't. So um, it's it's all over the place. Favorite for under 50 that you can regularly get is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. North Carolina Buffalo Trace Eagle Rare Blantons are easy to get weekly. Nice. Congratulate. Enjoy the heck out of them, man. Grab them up all you can. It's amazing to see because Blantons is not super hard to get in Alabama, but some places it is. So... Enjoy it. Uh, here in Alabama, like I, so it, I literally did, I wished I'd have filmed it, but I went the other day to um, an ABC drop, so a state drop, and I had to wait in line to get it, but the bottle of Blanton's was like 60 ish dollars plus tax, right? So it's going to cost you 65 or so dollars. And then I went to a convenience store that had one, and they had it listed at $85 plus tax. So under 100 bucks in both cases. Which I think I think Blanton's is a, I think Blanton's is a pretty good bourbon at a hundred under a hundred dollars. Um, now that's pushing it. Is it really worth a hundred dollars? No, probably not. But whiskey's just getting expensive right now. So you know it's it's just getting expensive. So you got to kind of readjust what prices are. I mean, there's some craft distilleries putting out mediocre crap for 70, 75 bucks, 80 bucks all over the freaking place. So what's $100 for a Blanton's? I'm starting to slur. Am I mad? I didn't think so. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, I tend to mix up some words anyway, even if I'm not drinking. So I don't know if Lost Monarch would be considered a beginner bourbon, but um, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you would have a hard time with it. It's not like this Booker's where you really need to get introduced to it. So if you have a bottle, pop it open. It would be good stuff. Typically, a higher proof whiskey is going to have more intense flavors. But at some point, depending on like your level of experience with high proof stuff, the, um, the proof of it, the alcohol, might start to kind of overwhelm you so you don't taste a lot of the intensity. So if you haven't drank a lot of high proof stuff, experiment with it, but just know it's gonna take a while for you to get accustomed to that kind of proof. Like it's hard to, like nobody's accustomed to 142 proof like we drank with the Koi Hill, but um, you know, work your way up to stuff like this. What is this, 100 and, that's 100 and something proof. Like I hate how they put the freaking cursive stuff. This right here is 126 proof. The Bardstown Armagnac finish is unexpectedly dry. Honestly, I thought the Starlight was pretty dang dry. Whatever it is, pour the 14th bottle top shelf from the right. Shit. I mean, I guess I'm counting double stacks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, that's William LaRue. We're not doing that. Not tonight. Not after my taste buds have been burned to the ground by Coy Hill. Why whiskey's getting so expensive? There's just a lot of people getting into it, right? There's a lot of people hanging out here, jumping on live streams, talking about whiskey, looking for this rare stuff, and there's only so much of it. Like anytime you adjust supply and demand, it takes years to overcome that. And so they will correct supply and demand. There'll always be super limited stuff that's expensive, but like for semi-normal normal release stuff, um, they'll correct it. It just takes years. If you're talking about a 10-year-old whiskey, when they say, oh, so demand's up, let's increase supply, takes 10 years to see that whiskey. So best bourbon under $250? Lord, that's that's a crazy question. Don't don't have an answer for that one. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't know. Um, I like Four Roses a lot. Yeah, yeah, I think you can send the the Blanton stock, the Blanton's horses in to Buffalo Trace. They'll put them on a barrel stave and send them back to you for like shipping costs or something, I think. So haven't had the Blanton's red. Nice. Haven't had Green River. Blue Note Uncut. I need I need a Blue Note Uncut, seriously. Uh, you traded Russell's Reserve 13 for E.H. Teller and Weller 12. No, I wouldn't have made that trade. I wouldn't have traded the Russell's 13 for those two. Um, the Weller 12, I'm not a huge fan of Weller 12. Um, so I think the Russell's Reserve 13, like even secondary value, when they first came out, you're probably getting close because that Weller 12 is way overrated. 
that E.H. Taylor. Now, I'm here in Alabama where we can get E.H.T. moderately regularly, not super, but moderately for, you know, 50 bucks or so. Even secondary, that's like a $100 bottle realistically. So I, I think that Russell's Reserve 13 probably has a little more value to me because I'm not a huge fan of Willer 12. 180 in Dallas? Yeah, that's, that's, I would not, it's not worth that for sure. Uh, larceny barrel proof's good. Regular larceny, not my jam. Yeah, Rebecca, sometimes the spam, but some, somebody got rid of them though. Look like Will's in here still. Blanton's is, yeah, Blanton's is allocated here, but the state of Alabama drops it once a month pretty regularly. So I did a video on what it takes to get it here. Um, so that's a long form on YouTube. 20 to $25 bourbons try Old Forester 100 proof? Yes, absolutely. Good call there, Brian. Took five months to get Blanton's at MSRP. Each state's different. You're not slurring your words. Don't worry. I, I know I'm not. It's good. Thomas going. <laughs> and Jill calls me Thomas once, and now Rocket Boy's jumping on. Going fishing. Who do you invite, and what do you put in the cooler? Oh, Lord. So... I don't do a ton of fishing. I like, like, I don't really care much for fishing. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care much for fishing. Um, I'm just, I don't, I don't eat a lot of fish. So if I catch fish, I don't really want to clean fish to eat fish. I will buy fish and eat fish, but from a, like a, let's just unplug and get away for a day. That's really what fishing is for most people. And that's what I enjoy about it. So it's just like, let's just, let's just leave our cell phone. Or even if we take it, we put it on silent we throw it in a bag and we get on the water for a while. That's fun. So who do I take? I don't, I don't really know. Um, that's a that's a good question. Usually my brothers, if I can. Uh, what do I put in the cooler? Just some Coors banquets. Throw some banquets on some ice, and I'm good to go. I don't know. Like I gotta I gotta work on the whole friend situation. Honestly, I, I work a lot, so. I haven't spent a lot of time, like once I got it, you got to understand, once I turned 18, we had our first kid, Will, who's actually in the chat here. So we had him. And so like friends were just kind of a thing of the past at that point, right? I had to focus on that. I had to focus on working. I had to focus on going to school. And then that's just kind of been a never ending cycle to get me here, right? So always trying to push for like what's next and what we're growing and what we're trying to do running a small business and trying to keep that up and going. So I just, I have like acquaintances. I have a ton of acquaintances, but like, I'm not real good at like staying in touch and really kind of building those, those friendships. So, you know, not to get, not to bring the, not to bring the stream down, but you guys are my friends at this point. So somebody has got to come over. We got to go fishing. All right, found, I'm trying to catch up. I'm, I'm way behind, sorry. Um, what price range should I start with? If you're like literally on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. We're doing a video, I've already filmed it. It's being edited, it'll be out in the next week or so, where it's the top five whiskeys for beginners. Just stay in that 20-ish, $25 range, maybe splurge on a 30 so dollar bottle of whiskey, but just try variety right? And then build your palate and then you can go from there. Haven't had the 12, don't drink scotch. I did the stave myself, easy to do. Oh yeah, 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 as far as the like Blanton's toppers, for sure. Woodford Double Oats, great. Love the Woodford Double Oat. Double Oat. Lucky to get, oh yeah, you know, I was not. I don't win anything, Mark. I, I very rarely, every once in a while, a friend will win and help me out, but I never win. I've never won, ever. Edward, come to Kansas. I Like, Kansas would be fun. I've never spent any time in Kansas. Jack Daniels, I, I like the triple mash better, Landon. Some good unknown stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, blends is good, but there's a lot of good whiskey out there. So don't don't worry too much if you don't get it. Miss fishing in the South, moved to Washington State. We used to do, like I used to go fishing a lot with my dad before he passed away. Uh, he liked to fish. My grandfather was a great fisherman, catfish. Like he was into catfish. But that dude, he didn't go out where he didn't come home with a 10 pound plus catfish. Like never. I don't think he ever, ever did. So um, he always came home with good fish. 
My dad, on the other hand, not a great fisherman, but he enjoyed it. Uh, missed out on the Koi Hill. Yeah, yeah, we didn't really do so much a review. Jill was here for us uh, for the first three hours or first two hours of the stream. The Koi Hill is freaking fantastic. That's really the review. It's great. If you can get it, buy it. $500, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say do that. I wouldn't say do that, Art. But if you could get it at, like, honestly, if somebody had them for a couple of hundred, 250, I'd have to take, I would buy two at 250, but I wouldn't buy one at 500. Ah, uh, let's see, catching up. Yeah. Standard proof, haven't had it. Look up Owensboro, Kentucky. Good whiskey made in Owensboro. Nice. Um, OHLQ lottery this month is Willett Family Estates. I would love to do that. Love to have one of those. Um, I like toasted barrels. I'm not a big finished whiskey fan, but the ones I do like are usually like finished in some wood, not finished in some wine barrel. So toasted barrels, double oak, things like that. So I really like those. I need to get the Penelope. I hear good things about it. The two Penelopes I have are fantastic. So I wouldn't hesitate to buy the Penelope toasted, even though I haven't had it. Uh, haven't had the Whistlepig 12. Brevard, appreciate that. What's going on, Fernando? I haven't had Or Soldier. I've, I've picked it up a couple times, but like we've just been buying so much crap to review, and that one just hasn't made it to the tops of the list. Yeah, Mark, I understand. Uh, I wish, Norris, I've never had a Mictor's 10 year rye. I need one. I had one. A friend really wanted it. I sent it to him. So I tend to give away about as much whiskey as I drink at this point, which is not good for my budget. I am still awake. Yes, very much so. Even after hitting the 140 proof Koi Hill. We're going to get to Kentucky. We're going to get to Kentucky sooner or later. Rare Breed is like, I love Rare Breed. Yeah, that's a good whiskey. All right, let me catch up here. Triple Mash. Buffalo Trace and Makers. So you drink Jack Daniels, Buffalo Trace, Makers Mark. Have you had an Eagle Raider? Um, have you had an Elijah Craig, Small Batch? Like I, or, an, or an Old Forester, 86 proof. Try one of those. Uh, Brian, are you in the Discord? Hit me up or send me a DM. Like it's hard to send me a message on, on YouTube here, but... Um, if you're in the Discord, which we've been linking, I don't know if anybody, anybody looks like Will's still in here. He could probably drop you the uh, the Discord link. So jump in there, send me a DM. It's open. Um, love to talk about it. Help you out any way I can. I haven't had Tom's Town brand. No. Be careful in Kansas. DM if you want the story. That sounds like a juicy story. Sounds like a juicy. What's everybody sipping on? Right now, I've had a little bit of Booker's, even though I just knocked it over and poured most of it out. Eagle Rare's good stuff. Toasted barrels are, like, I love them. Ah, uh, let's see. Yellowstone Limited, $80. Nice. You're an hour by, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in, I'm in Central Time. So right now, it is 1042. The, Kentucky, the only Kentucky Owl I've had is the confiscated. And so the regular Kentucky Owl stuff is like super expensive every time I find it. And I'm just not a guy that spends $300 plus on a bottle of whiskey. Like I just, I know it looks like it. If you look at the bottles I have, you're like, that's a guy that spends a lot of money on whiskey. But it's not. Like I've been, I've got really good friends. I've built a lot of uh, good relationships. And I've got lucky a few times. Um, so I'm, I'm not spending $365, $385 on bottles of whiskey like the Kentucky Owls that I find. Um, so don't know much about it. Um, let's see. What was it? Um, you, yeah, the Barrel Vantage is one the editor's working on. I had a few replies. I think that's going live tomorrow as long as I can get the thumbnail done. So tomorrow morning... I have to get up, I have to get the thumbnail done, then I gotta write some e-commerce videos for work, and then we're gonna go live in the afternoon to film stuff. So tomorrow is just a content day all day. Um, so as long as I get that thumbnail done, which I should, but it's only on YouTube, I say that. The short will probably go live on TikTok, but we're gonna do like, the, the short's only a minute long, but we've got like a six minute review over on YouTube where we do a deep dive. So make sure you're subscribed over there. Woodford Double Oaked is good stuff. I, I hear the horse soldier's good. I really need it. 
Haven't tried Von Payne. They wanted 340 for a Michter's rye. Remember my grandma telling me not to put my hand in the bucket of live catfish so they would bite me? I, well, I mean, you can, like, you see people noodling. I don't know if you've ever seen, like, just Google that. That's a good YouTube video. They call it noodle, right, where they just stick. There's like a hole in the, in the bottom of a lake, and they'll stick their hand in there and into the mouth of a catfish and pull out like a six- or seven-pound catfish. That's pretty freaking crazy. I've never done anything like that, but it would be a lot of fun. Um, Cut Spike Distillery is from Nebraska. Nice. Haven't tried that. I'd, I'd love to. Penelope Toasted is really good. Yeah, yeah. Victor, oh, Victor's Toasted is fantastic if you get that for sure. Not so much of the... I actually wanted to buy basil. We, we wanted to do a, a blind of the different toasted barrels. And I was going to buy a Penelope, or not, a, I was going to buy Penelope and a Basil Hayden to put in that blind. Um, so I got to go get those. We'll probably shoot that video next week sometime. Old Tub moved to Old Tub from Zachariah Harris. Nice. It's a KCMO brand. All right. Um, how can you send me one of Horse Soldier? Um, I think we removed our P.O. box on on uh, TikTok. Send me a DM. Send me a DM. I check those moderately regularly. Um, but P.O. box 209, Opelika, Alabama, 36801. Just address it to Brusel. Send it along. Um, but if you got one, yeah, that'd be awesome. Be happy to review it. Glenmore Medley Green River Distillery. Don't know much about it, man. Um, I have not had Nelson Greenbrier, so... I've had the Bell Mead stuff, but I haven't had the Nelson Greenbrier stuff. Ancient Ancient Days 10 Star is a good one, man. We go through a ton of that here. Armin says I'm his hero. I don't, I don't know about all that, but thank you. I appreciate that. You need bigger and better heroes, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not the hero you deserve, but I'm the one you got. New to Whiskey just bought Woodford Reserve Double Oak. So that's probably... That's probably a little intense flavors for like somebody just getting into it. Uh, Woodford Reserve Double Oaked is going to be oaky, but it's got a really nice vanilla ba vanilla balance. So it's um, oh, my mouth's getting dry. I'm going to get accused of slurring my words again, but it's just like dry mouth because all I'm doing is running my trap. Um, the Woodford Double Oaked. Has a nice balance. It's almost like a dessert whiskey, but it's still a little oaky for somebody that I would just like. I wouldn't recommend it as I'm just getting into whiskey, but it is a really good whiskey. So I, you know, it. You may not love it now. So if you open it and you're like, I'm not sure about this, put a cork in it, put it on a shelf, and then come back to it in a year after you've had a bunch of other whiskeys, right? And I think you'll like it. Ah, uh, Jefferson's aged at sea, so Jefferson's Ocean depends on the batch. Some of their batches really bad, some of their batches really good. It's all over the place. Oh, Glenmore, Medley, and Green River are all in Owensboro. I got you, I got you. Uh, we're going to make the trip up there sooner or later. Supposedly the original Tennessee whiskey recipe. All right, Garrett, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see. Let me catch up. Oh, Penel I have an architect too. Pretty good stuff. Haven't tried the Eagle Rare. Do that. Benchmark Bonded's a good one, Brian. Uh, Four Roses Small Batch at Costco. That's a good sipper tonight, Nimrax. Should do a blind with some of the private label brands. Costco. I want to do that. Like, Keith, that's on my list of, of content ideas. Um, even though you just deleted the message. But uh, we just don't have a Costco. And like Sam's doesn't sell alcohol here, so I got to figure out how to how to make that happen, right? Like just actually find the bottles. Uh, if I could get to my storage unit, I'll send you a sample of the Penelope Toasted. I, like I appreciate that, Rebecca. First of all, you got a bunch of whiskey in your storage unit. That's not unusual. But um, I'm gonna buy like I'm just gonna buy a bottle. I like I like Penelope enough. I'm just gonna buy a bottle. But I appreciate the offer. Seriously. Tonight was a mini blind between 1910 and Woodford Double Oak. What one? What one? Let me see. Oh, Rocket didn't give me a winner. Didn't give me a win. Who won? Like, you can't leave me hanging like that, Rocket. 
toasted between. We did that one night here on the live. We broke out the Mictors and the Elijah Craig. Surprisingly, the Elijah Craig won. Now that was just that was one of those weird nights where the Elijah Craig just stood out. If you asked me, I would say I prefer the Mictors. And I prefer the Mictors bourbon over the sour mash toasted. But I would really like to line those up and do a blind for sure. Jimmy says this is dumb. What's dumb, Jimmy? The fact that you come in somebody's live stream and comment or... Okay, cool. Um, do you like Four Roses bourbon out of Lawrenceburg? I love Four Roses, yes. Ooh, bourbon. Uh, Oregon's a long way, but I'm going to get up there sooner or later. Uh, Pappy23 is good stuff. I, I want a peerless double oak. I just haven't had it yet. Booker's is it's intense, but if you like it, you're going to love it. Store pick Woodford Reserve. Could be good. Could be good. Is it like a double oak or just a normal Woodford? Haven't had baby Hudson. I do like four roses. There are four old distillers. What's up? I know somebody needs to kick Jimmy out, but I feel like my uh, my mods may have uh, may have gone to bed or here or something. So I'll just get rid of Jimmy. Jill's saying Jimmy's an idiot. So let's I just look at here. Look, look, look. Thank goodness, I'm Jimmy's to... been hit. Jimmy has hit the trash can. So Good. Jimmy can just kiss my ass. Um, from, on, on YouTube, that Jimmy, I'm from Frankfort, Kentucky, home of Buffalo Trace. Nice. I'm definitely going to get there. Um, uh, old, still good or not. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Uh, I love, I tried Heaven Hill 17. It was fantastic. It's, it's pretty close to the tops of my bottle, uh, tops of my bottle list. So best, I love like just a Glen Cairn. Now these, uh, I'm not a huge fan of these New Orleans glasses. These neat glass get neat glasses from was it aged in ore? They're pretty good. I like those. From Frankfort, Kentucky, and let's see, moving down. What's up, Yellowstone Bourbon thoughts? Yeah, bye, Jimmy. See you, Jimmy. Hope you enjoy the live stream. Hey, Jimmy, why don't you enjoy the live stream without being able to comment? Or maybe, maybe you got kicked from the live stream. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe Jimmy just needs a life. Like what's sadder? Coming on here and trying to create content, trying to be positive, trying to have a good time with folks, or sitting in your mama's basement and jumping on other people's live streams and saying negative things. Which one's sadder? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, y'all decide, not me. 25-year-old small batch bean collection. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Even R. Wilson here over on TikTok is like, bye, Jimmy. See you, Jimmy. Jimmy was being an idiot over here. I'm going to be honest. I, it takes a lot for me to kick somebody. We get a few trolls over on TikTok, even though like TikTok's not really promoting the stream because we're using the high-quality stuff and they have a bug, so we don't have our normal trolls. I'm all for a good troll. Like Honestly, if you're a good-natured, fun troll, I'm all for it. You want to come over here? You want to just kind of say things, you know, you want to say I've, I've drank too much. You want to say, you want to check in on my liver. You want to say I weigh too much. I'm good with that. Like, that's cool. That's fun. Um, but you just can't you, like, there's a line, you know, appreciate it. One. Thank you. My favorite whiskey is William LaRue Weller. Tried Blanton's for the first time. and was not impressed. Interesting, Bill. What did you not like about it? I'm doing all right, Landon. Hang, hanging out for a little while. Let's see, what time is it? Looking at my... Uh, we're going to go for another 10 minutes or so here. So, uh, But it's been a good evening. Trolls be trolls. Like, I'm okay with a troll, but like just be a good one. <laughs> Even Rebecca got... She, see, he gets through. Rebecca gets hit in the, hit in the YouTube filter. So um, <laughs> Jimmy has a little Jimmy. Uh, yeah, I know. Well, the mods tend to come and go. That's the problem with both of these. Like, none of them are paid mods, even though Will, I mean, Will works for me. But it's still like 11 o'clock. You expect somebody to work till 11 o'clock? No, not necessarily. So, sometimes the, the mods just kind of, you know, they come and go. So, I know Nate was here. He had to go to bed. Cheech mods for me on YouTube, but he's not here tonight. He's He's busy. And then Will was here, but I assume he went to bed at some point too. So, 
Thank you, Wilson. Appreciate it, Watson. There's nothing, well, I mean, Christopher, we try not to drink too much. And I know this was really high proof whiskey. So we try not to overdo it. Like my goal is not to overdo it on a stream here, which is why you see me talking for the last 30 minutes and not drinking anything. So um, it's all good, right? Like people are just, here's the funny thing. If you create content, especially around alcohol, you can do no right to some people. Like you just can't do any right. So we used to, we used to, I used to get in there and reply to every single comment on a video. Now what we do is we try to reply to every comment day one, because after day one, if it's a good video, it's going to break outside of our normal, normal subscriber base. And it's going to reach a wider audience. And that is just a recipe for idiots that don't think anybody should ever be drinking alcohol ever. And that's a fair, like, I'm, I'm okay with you having that opinion. I really am. If you don't think we should drink alcohol, that's great. Come on the live stream. Let's debate it. It's cool. It's fine. You're probably right. Like, I'm, I'm going to give you all the credit in the world. We probably should not be drinking this poison. But it does taste good. I do enjoy the flavors of it. Like, I don't like those criticisms. Like, to just say, you just drink to get drunk. I don't. Like, I do like the flavors of some of these pours, not all of them. Uh, but it's like, is that really your crusade? Like, is that, that the cross you're going to die on? You're just going to spend your whole life, like, just every time somebody posts a bourbon review, you're just going to go in there and say, your liver's dying. Okay. Like, that just seems like a sad life. And I feel bad for these people. But um, that's just the nature of creating content, honestly. Like, you just got to be able to deal with stuff like that. But I just can't wrap my head around somebody dedicating that much time to that kind of crap. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. We just got to get rid of them in the stream, right? Like I, on a video, like I, it just helps the engagement. I love it. It's fine. But on a, um, on a live stream, it just kind of takes the vibe away a little bit, right? Oh, Yellowstone's pretty good, yeah. Uh, don't drink a lot of Johnny Walker. Oh, Ardbeg, not my jam, but I don't, I don't have any. Uh, we shouldn't drink Coke. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That guy's pounding Coca-Cola right now, I assure you. Old fashions? I, I like a Michter's Ryan, my old fashioned. My wife prefers ancient, ancient age in hers. All right, let me catch up over here on YouTube. Bruzy. We got a bruzy. It's bruzo, but I take bruzy. That's cool. The nose on the Woodford put it over the top, but it was a reserve, so maybe not a fair blind with the 1910. Okay. Booker's is a man drink. Um, appreciate it, Big Hoss. I'm not too sensitive. Sometimes I just give them what they want, though, and let them, especially after I ban them. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Giga Chad. Um, I mean, I, I try to always be positive about everything, so... Yeah, as long as, they, exactly. If you bring something to it, come in here and troll and I'll have fun with you. But if you're just going to come in here and be a butthole, that's not good, right? That's not good. Well, it looks like Wheelman showed back up and got rid of somebody else here. Um, do I like Kanye? Oh, Lord. Okay. Looks like he just got it. He just got kicked by Will, too. Will just come back with a vengeance. Um, I do like Kanye. Kanye crazy. His music good. Like, I'm not making any sort of judgments other than that. Dude nuts. Music good. I'll mod and kick the bots out. All right. Um, we'll talk about that. Just keep showing up, right? I, I try to make sure, like, folks that have been here in a while or, or for a while and then comment regularly, we'll add a few more mods. The wife always asks how I can drink whiskey for two hours and still be sober. It has to do with the amount. Well, I mean, it is, like, body mass and amount in proof. So, I mean, like, I wouldn't, at my state right now, drinking some of the high-proof stuff we've had like this and the, um, the Koi Hill, I wouldn't go, like, drive somewhere. Like, I wouldn't do that. But um, good enough to hold down a live stream. Yeah, old fashions are fantastic for sure. 
<laughs> yeah, Rocket Boy. He hit that. We'll jump in there and, and hit that band hammer. Ah, uh, let's see. Let me catch up over on TikTok. Why not enjoy bourbon? Yeah, don't be a Karen. Um, and yeah, one hundred and one hundred seven proof is fantastic. But if you're talking about Weller, it's good stuff. Does bourbon go bad? Good question. Yes and no. Um, so if you like this bottle, honestly, as low as this bottle is right here, it probably needs to be drank over the next few months. If you leave it with this much air on it, even with the cork in there, it'll start to oxidize. So it won't go bad in that you have it and you say this bourbon's bad. What'll happen is the flavors get a little muted and a little sharper. Um, so it just turns into something that it wasn't designed to be. Uh, so you'll you'll start to see a flavor change if you have a bunch of air on it and it sits around forever. This bottle's probably been open for a couple of years now. So realistically, it needs to be drank. Once it's down to this amount, what we'll do every once in a while is I'll just start, I'll go around and I'll find bottles this low and I'll say, that's the bottle I'm drinking. And so if people come over or whatever happens, we'll find a bottle like this and we'll just finish it. And if I have a couple of people over, like we could finish this in an evening, no problem. Uh, maybe a couple of these if we had a couple of people. So um, yes, you need to be like drinking them, but realistically, if it's pretty full, like that one's a couple of years old and I would have no problem keeping that bottle for another, you know, five or 10 years at that, at that level, as long as it's got a good cork in it and it's sealed, right? But it's never going to be bad per se. It's just not going to taste like it tasted originally. Yeah, I think they're going to be a GTS 2022. Um, there wasn't a 2021, right? But I think there's going to be a 2022. Alcohol is alcohol made for enjoyment. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, ancient, ancient age here in Alabama is not like readily available everywhere. It's almost always available in Alabama, but you don't know where. So they they're getting a lot of it, but it's distributed in different places. And so like my son, um, I can have him pick one up where he lives about two hours away. Usually like they almost always have it here. I can never find it. So not super easy, but when I get it, it's like $23 for a 1.75 liter. So I'll buy a couple of those. And like you, the funny thing is, is like you see this much whiskey and I get a lot of hate, but realistically we don't drink a ton here. Like I drink on Mondays on the stream. I drink like today, the last time I drank was last week when I filmed a video. Um, so like I didn't drink this weekend. We were doing a bunch of stuff. So we, I try to meter it. Normally, I, I would just drink on the weekends. Nowadays, now that we're streaming a couple of a couple of days a week and we're filming videos, like I try not to drink on the weekends unless I'm just really feeling it. Um, so with with a one point seven five liter of ancient ancient age, like I really try not to make old fashions because that's like I get a hard time about drinking this, but old fashions are what do me in. You want to see me slurring my speech? Have me make an old fashioned because an old fashioned is going to be like drinking freaking Kool-Aid and I'm going to, they got like two ounces in them and I'm going to hammer like five or six of those guys in a couple of hours. And that's where I get into trouble. Um, so we don't drink a ton of those, but so a, a 1.75 of ancient, ancient age lasts us a pretty good while, even though that's our, our kind of our well mixer. I haven't tried Western sun. Yeah, gambler, I'm still going. We try to go to 11. It is 11, so we might go for a few minutes. I want to get everybody's questions answered. Yeah, yeah, I'm not taking shots. We don't do shots, so ever put argon in a bottle? No. I like Widow Jane 10. Depends on the batch. 13 is exceptional, but yes, Widow Jane 10 is pretty good. Have that bottle unopened for 25 years. If you haven't opened it, it's probably fine. Oh, look, the dating sites are back on YouTube. That's awesome. We had Blue Run a little earlier. It was the Blue Run High Rye. I liked it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the water up. Appreciate it, Z Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I got the body mass for it. You're right. You're right. 
Oh, we're going to drink that Booker's before the night's over for sure. Um, before we, uh, that, what was in there, wasn't it? That was the Booker's. This is whatever Jill poured, which was the, um, the Blue Run, right? GTS 2022 is going to be the lightest proof release to date at 112.9. I bet it's pretty good at that proof. Probably not quite as good as the others. Finished up a bottle of 1920 that you've had for a year. Yeah, a year is not going to be a big difference. Uh, I've had a little bit from Castle and Key. I haven't had the bourbons. I've got the rye. It's extremely rye forward, which is not my jam, but it's all right. It's a store pick, though. Oh, you just joined the live. Well, you just came in for the end of it, man. I haven't had Ram Black. No. Appreciate the likes. Bean Black. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, no, haven't had that either. Yeah, Castle and Key stuffs. I think it's I think it's going out a little early. Like I, all the reviews I've heard make me think they should have held on to it for another year. But you know, you got a distillery, you got to fund it, right? Kentucky Spirit. Um, I like that bottle. It's a pretty good bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Well, so realistically, what most if you're going to keep this for a long, 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 long time, what you want to do is every once in a while. Just like get that cork wet, right? So set that sucker on its side, let that cork get wet, and then maybe just leave it like that for a day. And then come back so the cork itself doesn't dry out because if that dries out, it's liable to break or um, it's liable to dry up and it doesn't seal the bottle real well. So you're right, like you wanna keep that cork kind of wet, but not all the time. You can't store them like wine bottles. You can't just put them on the side and leave them like that for long periods of time because the alcohol will eat the cork unless it's a, an artificial cork. Hey, Coors Banquets is good stuff. What's the difference between Coors Lights and Banquets? A world, like Coors Light is like water and Banquets is a beer. Like that's like a, that's like a real beer. Yeah, I understand real. I, I, I used to be weekends only. I've just changed it to Mondays and Wednesdays at this point. For your New Year stream, you should definitely sip several old fashions. I may have to I may have to cut it down to like one hour stream, but we'll do that. I like Gentleman Jack, but it's been a long time, Troy. I used to drink that a lot, but it's been a while. So that's what she said. Kentucky spirit depends on the bottle. Interesting. I haven't had a ton of get the get the cork wet. You you gotta soak the cork. Cork soakers. That was a Saturday night Saturday night live skit. Old fashioned is good. Smoky old fashioned is money. Nice. I mean I smoke some of mine too. Like it just depends on the mood, but it's good for show. So if you have people over, I'll smoke it. Uh, normally if I'm just drinking one, I don't though. Uh, let's see. Jim Beam is the best. Well, I mean that some of the stuff I drink is Jim Beam, but it's like not Jim Beam labeled, right? It's so like this Booker, Jim Beam, but not Jim Beam. I would imagine, yeah, yeah. So that, I read the cork one. Uh, Port some Jack Daniels bonded. That's a good one. What's going on? Uh, right now I am drinking right here. This is uh, Blue Run High Rye. Now the Jefferson stuff. This was a. This is a Four Roses. This is a Four Roses limited edition, twenty twenty. Eagle Rare seventeen. Good stuff. I got it up on the top shelf there. It's good. We're gonna. Hey Joseph, we're gonna do some eggnog. So we're gonna do. We're gonna try eggnog in like a bourbon fireball. We're gonna do some different eggnog stuff. We're gonna wait till after. Um, definitely after Halloween. I'm debating whether we wait till after Thanksgiving for the eggnog videos, for sure. Mark Emmenecker in the chat, man. It's good to see you. Did Lumberyard live up to the hype for you? I, I haven't tried that, so I don't know. Yeah, every two months for a day and then turn them back up. I hear that's best practice. I'm too lazy to do that, but on rare stuff, you want to hold on to the bottle into a smaller bottle and get rid of the airspace. I, that makes sense. I'm again, too lazy to do that though. 
Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm looking forward to the eggnog. I love a good eggnog. I need to make a homemade eggnog and add those into it, though, because that's so much better than the crap you can buy in a carton. Poured some Jack Daniels bonded. Yeah, that's I like I like that. I like the triple mash better though. Um, and I think I read that comment already. But again, the triple mash is where it's at for me on that on those new releases. TikTok keeps like I guess it's just people joining. It keeps showing people joining and then it pushes back down. So I think the chat's moving, but it doesn't. I don't watch soccer. I'm from Alabama. We don't one. We don't do professional sports. And we don't do like soccer at all here. Like it, when I went to high school, we didn't have a baseball team. We didn't have a soccer team. And then Alabama doesn't have any professional sports. So I'm just not into it, which is good. Frees up a ton of free time for me. I don't have to worry about it. So you got 61st in the raffle. Do you think I'll be able to get something good? No, you'll, you'll load up, dude. At 61st, I would expect at six because realistically what's going to happen is a lot of people in front of you are not going to show up just how it happens so you're probably going to be 40 or 50th in line roughly you're going to go in table one now they haven't announced the tables but i would expect you're going to get like a van winkle lot b possibly at that at that range um or there'll be some btac stuff there but it's going to be like thomas handy sazerac so you're probably going to be able to get a lot B. Definitely, like I would be shocked if you can't get a RIP 10. So a RIP Van Winkle 10. Table 2, like you're probably going to be able to load up on Weller stuff. If you want a special reserve, you're going to be able to get two of those. Probably going to be able to get two OYs on Table 3, Weller Antique 107. Probably going to be able to get some foolproofs. Um, there'll probably be some Hancock reserves. Like you, dude, you you're just gonna freaking load up. I, I would be I would be over the freaking moon. So I'm trying to remember. I had a buddy win ninety something in ninety one, I think, in line a couple of years ago, and I'm trying to remember what he got. And I think I think he got this Four Roses limited edition. I think he got a Rock Hill Farms. I'm pretty sure he got a Rip Ten from that uh, from that list. Uh, like he, like dude, a couple of Blantons. Like he, he probably walked out of there with like twenty really good bottles, and he was ninetieth in line. Uh, I like as far as watching them, uh, neither tennis nor soccer. As far as playing them, I would play tennis before soccer. Appreciate it, top nine. Uh, so the raffle. So what we're talking about is the Alabama State Lottery. So the Alabama, for like the super limited stuff, they do a lottery. And so they they drop it in like eight different locations around the state. And I may be wrong about that number. I think they may have pared it down. But there's a few locations around the state they drop super allocated whiskey. And they have a lottery for the top 100. And you can win a spot in line. I never win a spot in line. I'll go to the walk-up line after people who have won. So I'll be like 150th in line and walk through. And I usually get a few. Like last year, we were 150th, and I got a uh, Thomas Handy Sazerac Rye and a few nice bottles. Um, so I'm going to try to get above 50. I'm going to try to dedicate some time to it this year. But it's just the Alabama lottery for the like the super, like the pappy stuff, the, the really hard-to-find stuff. Yeah, 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 Alabama State Control. Not a big fan of Jameson. Yeah, Triple Mash is excellent. Garrison Brothers twice barreled? Sounds pretty interesting. I haven't tried that. Not really a vodka drinker. Who let Mark Emmenecker in here? I don't know. I don't know who let him in here, but he is very welcome to be in here. I'm glad he's here. Uh, not a big Halloween fan, Troy. I'll be honest with you. Not like Honestly, holidays. I tell my... The, the folks who work for me, I, I own a small business and I, I let them know, I was like, guys, remind me of holidays because I'm going to be like booking meetings on holidays, like any holiday, like forget Thanksgiving. You better tell me it's Thanksgiving because I'm going to have some calls booked on it. We're going to, I'm going to plan on working it. I'm going to be doing some stuff, right? Because um, that's like, that's just kind of my focus. So I, I forget about holidays and, and Halloween's like the worst of them all. 
It's just like the worst holiday. Like, it's just kind of dumb. Like, we're going to dress up, and we're going to walk around to strangers' houses, and we're going to have strangers hand our kids items they're going to stick in their face hole and consume. Like, it just sounds like a bad idea. Now, as a younger person, I had some fun with it. But it really is like the dumbest. Like, this day and age, with all the crazy in this world, it is the dumbest holiday. If you, Like, costumes are fun. Costumes are fun. Um, but, like, just the whole walking around door to door, begging for candy, and then, like, consuming the candy that some stranger handed you, probably just not something I'm really into. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's see. Trying to catch up here. Any liquor store has bitter, simple syrup as equal parts water and sugar. Yay! Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, those stuff are, those stuff's pretty easy to make, but damn, they're really easy to buy too. What's my most prized bottle, William LaRue Weller or the Pappy 15? Uh, my favorite mixing ingredients? Like all I make is old fashioned. So the only real unique thing about my old fashioned is I try, try to use a Demerara syrup, right? So I don't use simple syrup, I use Demerara. Uh, I'm an Auburn grad, so I'm definitely War Eagle. Yeah, in your face hole. Well, I mean, there are three, there's several holes in your face, but you know which one I'm talking about. Would play tennis, assuming I could run. Great thing about tennis is play doubles. You ain't got to run that far. Really wish Louisiana did something. Like, Alabama's cool. It's cool. It's just not cool because I don't win. Like, I'm okay with it being fair, but, you know, it sucks being fair when I don't win. Uh, yeah, Jack Daniels malt whiskey doesn't, like malt whiskey doesn't sound great to me. Buy it all, drink it slowly. There you go. Yeah, Demerara really adds to an old-fashioned. I, I like that a lot. It's just so expensive. That's the problem. I'm cheap. When it comes to like, yeah, I got to buy like a $20 syrup to make an old-fashioned. I'm like, maybe I should just use a sugar cube, you know? Love Halloween. for Yeah, like parties and stuff. That would be cool. That would be, you dress up, you put on a costume, you go to a party, you, you know, they make some stupid punch out of a bunch of stupid alcohols. That, that sounds like a good time, right? But like just going door to door for candy, like just buy your kids a bunch of candy. Like just, hey, hey kids, how about we just, let's, let's combine Halloween and Easter. I've just hidden a bunch of candy. I've hidden bags of candy in the backyard. Go find that crap, eat it, and then I'm going to go to a party tonight. Yeah, Kyle, you missed the Koi. Koi Hill is freaking fantastic, man. Come over sometime. I'll let you try it. Make my own rich Demerara? Now, that sounds cheaper. I need to do that. Maple syrup's good. Maple syrup is actually, we ran out of Demerara, and I use maple syrup. And I've got some bourbon barrel aged um, that, um, what was it, Cannon? We put a, bo a bottle of their whiskey. I forget where their whiskey's at. Um, but I want to say it's Cannon Distilling sent us like a, a bourbon barrel aged maple syrup that I think would be really good for an old fashioned. Um, Joseph says favorite Halloween candy. Believe it or not, Joseph, I don't eat a lot of candy. And I know, I know, I know, I know it seems unusual coming from a fat guy, but I just don't eat a ton of candy. Um, if I had to go, so back in the day, so the funny thing is, is I come from a small town. So like when we, like really small, really rural, it was like really dedicated to go um, Halloween. So some of my favorite like memories of Halloween as a kid was we would go to my mother's friend's house and she lived in a little neighborhood in the city. And so we could walk around that neighborhood and hit a bunch of houses. We, we actually rolled up on this old couple. And we went through this neighborhood, and what we, we were in a mill village. And I don't know if y'all are familiar with a mill village, but basically there was Avondale Mills. Russell Mills was in that town. Avondale was kind of the lesser competitor. But there was a whole mill village. So it was these little, like, 900-square-foot houses all around it. And it was mostly people who had worked at that mill. Now, at this point, the mill was on a downhill swing, so a lot of those houses were rentals or older people living in them. 
And uh, we stopped at this old couple's house and knocked on the door, and they had no freaking idea that it was Halloween. They didn't know. And we weren't from the neighborhood, so we didn't know this was like a house to avoid because they were old people and they didn't know. Um, and so they, what they ended up doing is they ended up going into their cupboard and getting us biscuits. And I, again, if you're not from the South, we used to, when I was a kid, I used to be kept by, uh, when I get, got out of school, we would go to a neighbor's house. Or really, really even before we were in school, uh, my, my grandparents' neighbor would watch us and she would just cook biscuits. She'd cook a bunch of biscuits in the morning and she would have a, a cupboard, unrefrigerated cupboard, and she would have a bowl of biscuits. You wanted a snack, you just went and got a biscuit, right? And so we went to this old couple's house and they gave us biscuits. Because they didn't have any candy. They were like, oh, we don't have any candy. We forgot it was Halloween. We didn't know. We feel bad about it. And they just went and got us biscuits. And honestly, the best Halloween candy I ever got was some nice, cold, soft biscuits. So probably probably a terrible, terrible, uh, terrible candy. But 1776, haven't had that yet. But 100 proof, 30 bucks, sounds like a good idea. Like it's on my list. I want to do it. I want to do a review, but I haven't had it. Yeah, so user, I do usually have a lot more viewers. So here's the thing. Uh, we are using the high quality camera tonight. And um, TikTok has a bug where if you use this high quality camera and this, this method of streaming, that it usually gives you a, like 25% of the viewers that you normally get. And so I had to decide tonight, do I use the high quality camera and take 25% of the viewers or do I use just the iPad and take the viewers up? But we had Jill streaming, we were doing a whole thing, and this offers a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of cool things we could do. We're not doing now, but we used earlier changing cameras and doing all that stuff. Um, so I decided to go that route. We may go back to the iPad for like Wednesday if it's just me, um, but we'll figure that whole situation out and hopefully TikTok finishes or finishes, fixes this bug here pretty soon. I'm definitely War Eagle for sure. Um, special reserve. Can you, so you think I could finish Weller Rainbow at the raffle? Ah, I mean, the problem is a lot of those end up on the same table. So you say you have ant. I don't know what ant is. I'm trying to think. So we've got single barrel, um, CYPB, OY, Foolproof and special reserve. I don't know what you mean by ant. I don't know if your fingers were off the keyboard and you mean OWA. Um, antique. Okay, so you've got antique. Okay, I got you. Antique. Yeah, it's O O W A. Um, I don't know if you could finish it. The problem is that that, that far back, CYPB might be gone. Single barrel, if they have it, might be gone. You probably stand a pretty good chance of landing a foolproof. Um, you, you probably might even get a 12. Um, so I'm not sure you would finish it, but you would definitely add to it. Courage and conviction this weekend, not bad. I'm not a big malt fan either. So candy corn's pretty solid, Kevin. That's pretty good. I did not grow up in Maplesville, but that sounds like a place I might have. Aged bourbon? I like I like aged bourbon. About 12 years. That's how, that's how old I like it. Copper and King's brandy is amazing cider. I bet that would be good with eggnog. All right. So catching up over here on tick or on YouTube, excuse me. Wish uh, you wish I was your uncle. I'm okay. I mean, join the Discord, man. I'll be your uncle. It's okay. Not eating in candy. We drink our weight in bourbon, not eating in candy. There you go. Uh, barbecue brisket. Oh, I, so my favorite, like if I had to pick one, it, when I was a kid, I really liked Butterfingers. Now they're just, they're just too much. They get in the teeth. They're just, they're just terrible. Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm like back in the day when I was a kid, if somebody was given full size candy bars, any candy bar, if you were just like given full size candy bars, that was the house we probably went to two or three times. We'd just like circle around the block and come back to that house over and over again. So if, especially if you were given like full-size Snickers back in the day, that that's what we were going for. 
If I ever need a low bottle finisher, all the time, man, all the time. So now for those not from the South, he's spitting truth. Yeah, he, like seriously, I got biscuits for Halloween. And, it, it, and honestly, it was my favorite Halloween experience. Like it taught me a lot. As a kid, it just like those people had nothing. They had absolutely nothing. They were, I'm, I guarantee you, they were living on government assistance or, you know, Social Security, Medicare, and they didn't know anything about Halloween. And we knocked on their door randomly one Thursday. And uh, they're like, we're, we're going to give you something. Now, would you let your kids even eat that nowadays? Like, realistically, I'd tell my kids, like, just throw that away. But that was a life lesson for me. So I, I wouldn't trade that for the world. Good biscuits when I was younger. Yeah, Ante, I get you. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm I'm not good with uh, Owa. I call it Owa. So A and T kind of threw me off a little bit. Weller twelve beat Lot being a blind. I did. Dang. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I would have a hard time believing it would beat that Weller twelve would beat it in a blind. I did. I would have a hard time believing that. But it's possible. It's possible. Now, most, and I don't know if it's the bottles of Weller 12 I've had or if it's just Weller 12, right? So I, I understand that like bottles vary, but the Weller 12s I've had have been very bitter oak, excuse me, very bitter oak and not spectacular in any way. But that's the ones I've had. Revel Stoke Vanilla. Uh, oh, and not a ton, man. I really haven't drank much of anything in the last hour or so. 1792 12, yeah, 1792 12 years pretty good though. I do like that a lot. Do like that a lot. Noah's Mill, it's been a while since I've had it. Is Pappy all it's cracked up to be? I mean, it's pretty good. Um, but honestly, Weller Antique 107 is pretty good. Like it's close, but a lot more available. Um, still not like super available, but. I can't think of anything that's like very Pappy-esque that you can get regularly, but it's pretty good. It's not like thousands of dollars good, but it's good. The old couple down the road would give full-size candy bars. Every kid would hit that house up. Absolutely. If you gave full-size, that's all it took. Like you're not dropping me like one miniature. You're not that person. It's like, here's one mini Snickers. Like, come on, man. You got to hit me with a handful of mini Snickers at least, you know? 30 years ago, people weren't trying. Yeah, that well, that's that's true too, Kevin. Like it, wait, of course, you gotta understand where I grew up. When I was a kid, uh, for for my 10-year-old, my 10th birthday, my dad bought me a shotgun. And so I had a 20-gauge single, single shot, you know, breech rifle shotgun, which I still own, and my nine-year-old brother got a 410. And so at 10 years old, I, with a nine-year-old, we would leave my grandmother's house in the fall or, or in the winter. We would leave and go hunting all day. A 10-year-old and a nine-year-old would walk a mile to a patch of woods, then go hunting for squirrels for hours with loaded weapons by themselves. And as long as we were back by dinner... Nobody asked any questions. Now, if it started getting dark, cars are going to be coming and they're going to be looking for us, right? But if we would just come back at five or six o'clock, you know, before dark, nobody asked any questions. So nobody def nobody's definitely going to have any questions about us walking a neighborhood and eating some random biscuits, right? Um, so it was just a very different time. Uh, I've heard of Bell Mead honey cask. I have not had one. Like, have you had one? It's good stuff. I hear it's good stuff. I, like I said, I haven't tried it. Michter's rye. Oh, Michter's rye is delicious. I've made a little bit of my own alcohol user, but not really good stuff. What's going on, Big Dave? It has been a long day for me too, man, but I'm glad you've got some Eagle Rare and I am, I'm about 30 minutes past when I should have stopped this live stream, but we try to go to about 11, but I, you know, had some good questions. So I got to talk about biscuits for Halloween. 
Do you think that far back I could get a stag junior? Yeah, probably. I mean, you just never know depending on where you're at. Like, you don't know how much they're shipping there, and you don't know what's on what table. So until they announce, you just don't really know. But I would say there's a pretty good chance, B-Ward, in the 60s you would stand a chance at a stag junior, yes. Now, the problem is, is you might have to make some uncomfortable decisions. You might have to take that stag junior over a weller. Yeah, those were good times. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, good. Could you imagine giving a gun to a ten-year-old nowadays? Lord have mercy. No, of course not. Have not tried Tasmanian whiskey. We had those. Had nothing, and still gave. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, saw a lot of glasses. Well, my wife was here earlier. Just so you know, she was here. So all of those glasses over there are hers, and these glasses are mine. So I didn't drink that much. She she was here for the first, you know, two, two and a half hours. For the Alabama lottery, um, well, I mean, it's... So the Alabama lottery is like this. There's table one, which has the super allocated stuff. So all your Van Winkle and your BTAC stuff. And you could get one bottle from table one. Table two, you can get two bottles from, and that's a step down, right? So there might be uh, the Weller Foolproof or your Stag Junior or something like that on there. Table three is a bunch of tables, usually. And that, you know, that's like the rest of the store. And normally you can get two, two of any bottle on table three. So that's going to be, sometimes that's Weller Antique 107, um, but oftentimes it's uh, Blanton store picks and things like that, right? Um, and so realistically, last year we got there about seven ish o'clock, maybe a little earlier than that, and we were about fifty in the walk-up line. Um, and that, so you know, and only like sixty or so people showed up that it actually won. So that put me at about a hundred and ten. So we were able to get. Uh, Thomas Handy, Sazerac, and some decent bottles. Not great. If I'd have been about 10 people ahead of me, I would have actually got some really nice bottles. But a lot of the good stuff were gone at about 10 people ahead of me. 140 for a Stag Junior was disappointing. Interesting. Uh, it depends on the batch. I've had some batches that are just okay, and I've had some that are exceptional, though. I, I used to be riding bike to the beach as a kid gone to yeah, exactly exactly got gps on the kids uh, it's i mean it's weird like that man you know it's a different time though it's a different time but at the same time you gotta let your kids go a little bit but man there's a lot of crazy people out there so well the world has I, so oh lord i don't know is this don't want to go. I got to, every time somebody asks a question like this and I have a thought that I'm like, this is probably a bad thought to express to the world. Um, but once I have an idea, I kind of have to do it. I don't know if y'all realize that about me. My wife realizes that about me. Uh, if I have a really bad joke and it comes to my mind at a really inappropriate time, I kind of have to say it. Like I just have to do it at that point to see how it plays out. So, the world, so the question is, you know, and I think the, the answer, you know, when I was talking about, can you imagine giving a, a, a 10 year old a gun at this point? But the, the, the question was no way, but is it the world changed or the media? I honestly don't know. Um, it is very much both, right? Bad things have always happened, but the media definitely makes you much more aware of the things that can be politicized. A lot of bad things happen all the time that don't really get the media play, but those things don't, they're not as um, politically useful at the time, right? They're harping on something else rather than whatever this thing was that happened. But so the media makes us, the 24 hour news cycle makes us much more aware of the things that they are trying to get you to focus on. Um, to, to, you know, so that they can use that for, for votes in, in any particular way. But at the same time, the world is very changed. The internet has made, made it very possible for when you have a particular idea or ideal, um, to find an echo chamber of other people that help you 
explore and go deeper into that. Back in the day, if you wanted to be crazy, if you were like 1987 crazy, you had to be 1987 crazy by yourself. If you want to be the Unabomber, you just had to buy a shack in the woods and freaking, you know, the West Coast somewhere, and you had to send out packages, right? Nowadays, you can find all sorts of crazy things on the internet. You can find all sorts of people that have some similar crazy ideas that make you just go deeper into those crazy ideas. And it just makes it easier for people to just get more extreme in whatever their, their viewpoint is. And, and so, you know, you find it extreme when you don't agree with that viewpoint, but when you do kind of agree with it, you're like, well, maybe they're not extreme. Maybe they're okay. Um, until they just get too far with it. Right. So, um, it's both like the world is a very different place just because, you know, where we're at, it's just easier to, to go to extremes. But then the media also makes you much more aware of that. So it's it's both, I guess, would be would be the answer. So we've gotten way away from whiskey at this point. I apologize. Oh, yeah. If I could find the Bill Mead honey, I would love that. Um, would you ever do a double live from the guy who played in Bar Rescue on TikTok? You're talking about like, you're talking about with, um, what's the dude from Bar Rescue? Uh, John Taffer? I mean, hell yeah, I would do a live with John Taffer if that's what you're talking about. What would I say to John Taffer? I don't know. Is he going to come rescue my bar? Because we're going under right here. I just drink all the profits. Um, Weller, should you be looking for 12? It's got, well, like CYPB and uh, single barrel are going to be the most expensive. So if you can get those, get those. Um, for me, like 12 or 12 or foolproof, excuse me, foolproof is good and that's super expensive. But Owa is like the, the perfect one for drinking to me. Take it easy, Kyle. Appreciate it. A group of buddies would throw our 22 rifle across our shoulder and head to the south side of town to hunt and trap around the lake. Exactly. Cross, uh, but dude, that was when I was in school in the late 90s, everybody would go hunting before school and then you would just drive up in the parking lot with your truck. I mean, I didn't have a truck, but they would pull up with their truck and they would have shotguns in the back window and then just lock the truck and go in and go to school, right? Appreciate it, ML. Four Roses and Buffalo Trace, your favorite $30 to $40 bottle. That's another tough, like I, I've got some answers for under 20. I've got some answers for 20 to 30. I've got some answers for 40 plus, but uh, $30 to $40 bottle. Um... I don't have a great answer for that. If you've had four roses in Buffalo Trace and you're looking for something 40 and under, I could probably answer that. So four roses, good, sweet. Buffalo Trace, good, sweet. If you can get an Eagle Rare, another Buffalo Trace product, that's really good. Follows into that kind of sweet line of things. But what I want you to do is I want you to start venturing out a little bit. So I want you to go spend a little bit of money on like an old Forester 86 proof. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I want you to try an Elijah Craig small batch. Nimrax says your wife is a smart lady, me not so much. So Nimrax is at least a decent troll, I guess. I appreciate that. Uh, let me get rid of some trolls over here. Apparently my mods are gone. That's not a troll. You think that's you think that's accurate? No. You think Nimrax is accurate here? No. He already retracted a message. I don't know. I was thinking about just kicking him. He said that I was smarter than you. He said your wife is a smart lady. You not so much. Oh, that's mean. It's a little. It's a little like I. Uh, yeah, it's a little mean. That's mean. It's a little mean. It's a little mean. I think you got to the point where they're just mean people. Be Maybe it might be time to call it. So yeah. I'm calling it. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Thanks. Uh, thanks again. And uh, we will catch up with all of y'all on Wednesday. Again, we go live Wednesday at um, eight o'clock Wednesday evening. It's going to be just me, not Jill this time. So I'm going to call it. Appreciate everybody hanging out. And uh, it's been fun. 
and we'll catch up with y'all later.